writing this, like, out to the world, so I don't have to do any of that, right? No. Okay. I no, mean, I've been no. tweet, I've been, like, sending no, stuff no. out, but somebody's pushing this out. Yes. Okay. There's this infrastructure. There's an infrastructure. Big time. Big time? Big time? Oh, Sasha, I work at the Oh, hey. Okay, that sounds good. I think I'll just play this one because it looks cool. Yeah, it's awesome. We'll just keep this one on the set because it'll look beautiful back there. I think. Perfect. And then the capo. I know that one is actually. I feel like that's good. The gold looks good on there. Yeah. I think it matches, I mean, but I think Morgan's gonna or? play it. Morgan, yeah, she can play this one. Maybe we'll just put that. Yeah. So she has the capo there. And then we'll just make sure that's tuned up for everybody in between. Can someone get Jerry a belt? Jerry. Did she hand those more? Did she hand more? Okay. All right, just make sure they're pulled up. Or you look kind of like a vato.
Hi everybody. My Hello. name is Tim Heidecker. Where where are we? We're in we're live. We're live here for Jenny Lewis on the line. Online. You're watching us live. Um, I'm Tim Heidecker. I'll be your host. I'm here with Jenny Lewis. Today is her day. This is her night. We're going we're here to celebrate your new album coming out. Another album. In a long line. And uh, we're going to be listening to the record tonight. We're going to have many special guests. Your uh, uncle is here playing vibraphone. And um, we're just going to, this is a live, poorly uh, conceived, uh, not well rehearsed um, potential car crash for Disa the next three hours. Disaster. Not a lot of money or time has been spent putting this together. Correct. I mean, we barely talked about this, really. We had a few meetings. I split. I left town. I've been, I've not been, I just got here an hour ago. I'm getting some details about what the plan is, but a lot of uh, chickens running around with their heads cut off. So, the point is, Jenny's got a new record. It's <laughs> phenomenal, and we're excited to have you here. Um, we're also raising money for the downtown uh, women's center. center. Yes. And, um, so if you call, if you donate money, you can call in and we can take your calls. And it's going to be an exciting uh, chat. You can chat. And the special guests we have lined up are out of this, out of this world. I can, should we tell anybody who's here? Sure. Should we say any of the names? Yeah, yeah. Let's let them know. I mean, I can tell the people that are actually physically in the building. Uh, Jeff Goldblum is here, of course. That's, that's, that's a given. He was here when we arrived at the studio. <laughs> So we're gonna make a play. We're gonna make a place for him in the show. Appreciate him. Um, what do we want to do? What do we want to get to? We're gonna play some of your new music, but I want to ask you about the new record. When does it come out? Let's get that over with. Uh, March twenty second. Okay. That's, um, that's soon. Up. Soon. And will it be on CD? How how are you gonna put it out on CD? Oh. Uh, Yes, we'll release it on CD and nice. uh, cassette as Re well. On cassette? Why? What for? Uh, for That's those the... who still have uh, cassette players in their cars. And where do these <clears throat> uh, things get manufactured these days, CDs? Um, uh, China, probably, mm -hmm. I okay. would imagine. All right. What else did I want to ask you about your record? Does it uh, take a long time to make how does it how do you make it you just record a couple record the songs and put it out just record them mm -hmm. get the band together uh, right. put it on a CD and how does that happen do they take how does that gets transferred onto that disc well, there's a process uh, mixing and bouncing and uh, you what know else? you get it on on there mastering mastering and um, what's the cover look like do we have a cover in mind yet We've got that sorted. <laughs> Did you pick that a cover? We, we've got a cover. Was oh, a picture of you on there? It's uh, it's me on there. Um, yeah. Creative. <laughs> um, yeah, it's me on there. Let's. Uh, we're not taking calls yet because you have to donate. What is it? If you donate a hundred thousand dollars, you will you can call in. We'll con we'll connect you in. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm actually the fake out host of the show. I am. Um, I have other plans. I'm oh. having um, uh, I have a dinner tonight. Well, I was hoping you'd stick around for I just set this thing up. I put the wheels in motion, and now it's self-generating. So but I, I thought you were going to stick I have, around. I have a El Pollo Loco appointment <laughs> with my family. My uncle's in town, and he's dying for Your Uncle Jerry's here. That's your uncle. This is my godfather, godfather. actually, Jerry. Well, we'll call him uncle. Okay. Well, same thing. And close. Uh, so I'm going to turn things over because a friend of yours is here. This is your life. This is on the line with Jenny Lewis. Any relation? Uh, to Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis. Uh, no. No. Ah, no. Too bad. Okay. He's one of my icon heroes, one of the original comedians. The day the clown cried. Have you yep. ever? Uh... It's the day the clown died, I think. Oh, is it died? I don't know. But the nutty <laughs> professor, of course. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we're having fun. I, uh, I do love live television. And I'm a master at it. But speaking of live television, 
we can consider this Sunday Night Live, but we have a veteran of Saturday Night Live who's going to take my seat uh, while I uh, use the bathroom and go to El Pollo Loco and do the other uh, chores that I have planned for tonight. What a pleasure it's been. Um, good luck to the crew. We have a lot of first-timers working on the crew tonight, a lot of first-time cameramen and gaffers and a lot of, P a lot of PAs, a lot of grips that have not gripped before, some gaffers that will... Uh, that have not gaffed. Where's the gaffer on the shoot? Where is he? Or her? Who is it? Identify yourself. Step on, step out. Oh. No, they're, they've I quit. thought we had a gaffer. They've already committed several gaffes. Um, <laughs> let's bring out the one and the only, the star of, of Saturday Night Live. You were the star. <laughs> uh, you were on for 12, 20 years, seven years. Um, and you guys can talk. She might know more about your music than I do. I'm not familiar with it. Um, more of a Simon and Garfunkel head. But I love female singers, so I, I should be, I'll go back and listen to your catalog. Anyways, let's bring out the great Vanessa Bayer, please. And we'll welcome her. Thank you. Oh my. And I'll let you take over. Thank thanks you very much. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Well, thanks for, uh, you're well, going to sit there, OK? Yeah. All the well, best. Thanks. And good luck with the show. Okay. Thank you. Wow. What a... Well... You know, this is Hollywood. What can you do? Uh, but uh, we, we got this. But we got this. Now, how are you doing? Um, I'm okay. I'm a little... I thought Tim was going to... Yeah, I thought he was going to stay, too. He just around. sort of set it up, and then he left, which... Yeah, this was kind of the whole idea, yeah. was that we were going to... Oh. Oh. With you... Oh, is that my... Sorry about that. Good luck with the show. <clears throat> what a nice guy, honestly. <laughs> what a cool, what a cool and nice guy. Now, <laughs> Jenny, I'm very excited to be here. Um, you and I have been friends for many years, and that is a brag. Um, but let me ask you, what are you most excited to see tonight? I am most well. I'm most excited to be here with. Jerry Cohen, my godfather. Um, and we've got a lot of stuff planned. Yes. We've got some magic. Yeah. We've got some music. Right. Um, some of my closest friends are going to come and play some songs. Yeah. Um, we've got a uh, bass uh, jam. I don't know wow, what that wow, is wow. or what that means. Yeah. But hopefully um, that will be entertaining. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, let me ask you this, and I know this is a bit controversial. What are you not very much excited to see tonight, Jenny? Well, honestly, Vanessa, I'm a little bummed that Tim bounced, but... Yeah. Um, that... It's okay. We'll be fine. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. And are there any, like, hard and fast rules? Like, you know, you can't come out here and, like, you know, have a meltdown or, you know, um, juggle or... No, 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 no jugglers. Oh, okay. Okay. No jugglers. Okay. But meltdowns are, you know. Welcome. Oh, welcome. Please. So. Join us. Meltdown with us. Yeah. Now. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jenny, I know, like, we're having fun. Like, obviously, we're having a blast, which is, like, something that Jenny and I do a lot because we just, like, we love to chill and hang. Yes. Yeah. Um, but. There is actually a really great cause that we're doing this for as well. Yes. Um, so uh, a great thing about tonight is that all net proceeds from this evening's album pre-sales will be donated to the Downtown Women's Center here in Los Angeles. The Downtown Women's Center has been serving the women of LA for over 40 years. They've given permanent supportive housing to hundreds of women who have experienced homelessness, they provide education and job training, and they run the only women's clinic in Skid Row. They're a completely essential organization for the women of our city. Yes, and we've got a video package from the Downtown Women's Center. Let's take a look.
My name is Kiana Gomez, and I'm ready to move in. Welcome home. Okay, what key is it? Oh, the big key. The, the big key, yeah. The Downtown Women's Center was founded in 1978 and remains the sole organization in Los Angeles focused exclusively on serving and empowering women experiencing homelessness and formerly homeless women. Our mission is to end homelessness for women in Greater Los Angeles through housing, wellness, employment, and advocacy. We envision a Los Angeles with every woman housed and on a path to personal stability. Together, we will end women's homelessness in Los Angeles. So nice, like for real. I love it. Yes. I can breathe now. Mm -hmm. I can exhale. So the Downtown Women's Center uses U.S. dollars to do all of that amazing work. And if you want to give them a few, go to JennyLewis.com slash news and click the donate button. Now, we have a very special guest right now um, to introduce. Uh, I want to introduce my godfather, Jerry Cohen, on the vibes. Jerry, you want to play a little something for everyone? Uh, how about my phone number? Okay. <clears throat> wow. Get that out, you have Jenny's phone number. <laughs> uh, Jerry. Do you know who Vanessa is? Yeah, do you know who I am? I know her now. <laughs> uh, Jerry, can you play us um, your astrological sign on the vibraphone? Okay. Um, Jerry, what um, we've known each other a long time. Uh, what were your first impressions of Tim, my co-host? Uh, a determined young man <laughs> with a agenda on his mind. Hmm. <clears throat> Accommodating, friendly, and presentable. Wow. Agree. You know. I mean, I had some other ideas in there. You know, he as did well. just ditch us, but other than that. Now, can I ask you what, is there anything you'd like to say about Jenny? Uh, well, we only have three hours, so <laughs> I, think, I think we'd be, uh, no, we, we've known each other since she was six months old, and uh, <clears throat> we followed her through her wonderful careers, and her acting, and then her singing, which the first place <clears throat> was a place on Melrose Avenue, the Maskers Club, and she was singing, she was not singing, she was writing, and reciting poetry with Blake. And she got a standing ovation. It's the very first time she performed this genre. <clears throat> right. And uh, as, far her, as far as her acting career, I was honored to be invited to the Goldwyn Studios when she was Lucy's goddaughter, granddaughter, in the Lucy show. Wow. So I walk in that stage, and there's Jenny telling Lucy how to line up the shots. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> Very cool. Well, looks like you've been bossy since you were a child. <laughs> Thanks, Vanessa. <laughs> okay, and now it's time to welcome our first musical guests of the night. It's a, it's a barbershop cadet. <laughs> <laughs> One, two. 
He cannot do the Smurf, but I can watch TV, and I can shuffle off to Buffalo, I can do a back bend, I will not call you back, <laughs> and I can start a book, and I can make some mac and cheese, and I can sleep 12 hours, you'll never see my eyes. And I can do the, the fruit, and he can do the fruit, and, and I can do the Robocop. I can do the Freddy, he can do the Freddy. I cannot do the Smurf, he cannot do the Smurf. And I can hate your girl, and he can hate your girl. I can tell her that you're real pretty, real, real pretty. And I can take my clothes off, his clothes off. I cannot fall in love, you'll never see my eyes. I will not call you back, I cannot do the Smurf. I cannot fall in love, I'll never fall in love. I cannot 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 fall in love. But I can do the fruit, and he can do the fruit, and I can do the Robocop. I can do the Freddy. He can do the Freddy. I cannot do the Smurf. He cannot do the Smurf. A great job. I don't really care for the song, but <laughs> who wrote that? Uh, I wrote that with my uh, former bandmate from Rilo Kylie. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I liked it. Ooh. <laughs> a little dark. I cannot fall in love. Well, and over there's a beatbox. there's a reference to the Freddy, which I believe Troop Beverly Hills, huh? The song uh, references a couple of dances that were in Troop Beverly Hills. Now, if it were up to me, I would spend the rest of the three hours just asking you about Troop Beverly Hills. Um, Which, but... when I asked you to be a part of this, you were very excited about <laughs> yes, that. Yes, I said I'd like to spend 20 minutes. We won't do that, but um, do we have time for one question about it? Sure. Um, you've explained this to me before, but will you explain again how you shot the scene where you walk across the tree trunk? Oh, yes. I've explained it before. You have. Uh, the There's a tree trunk over like a, a... A ravine. A ravine. And it's like very scary looking in the movie. A dangerous moment. Yeah. In the film. Um, a little bit of Hollywood magic. Yes. Um, a fake tree trunk. Okay. On a soundstage. Okay. Green That's screen. That's the whole trick. Okay, because I had remembered you explaining it to me and it being more like we were in the woods. But well, we were initially in the woods. Yeah, but then you... <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. Okay, well, now, please welcome a different guy, Jeff Gold, Gold, uh, Goldblum. Thank you. Thank Hello. you, everybody. Thank you so Sorry much. Sorry I had trouble pronouncing your name. <laughs> why, why, I wonder. <laughs> so nice to see you, my So girl. nice to see you. Thank you. Um, thank you. Why'd you have trouble pronouncing my name? Well, you know, uh... Oh, it's okay. Uh, totally understandable. Well, how about this? Look at this. Hi, Jerry. Hi. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Jenny. Thanks for coming down to I hang. Can't, I can't thank you enough. I'm really thrilled to be here with both of you, and for this purpose, too, for the dual purpose of your album, which I'm really excited about, and which I know many people are wildly excited about it, and to, to uh, contribute to uh, this wonderful cause. I love that, and I love being part of this, and, and uh, I love everybody involved in this show. You know, Tim, I know Tim from 
before, and we've done some things together, but I'm really thrilled to, to be here. Well, thanks for being here. You're you, so welcome. You know, Jerry and I have come to see you perform a couple of times. You told me, but I, I, I wasn't aware, was I? Did we talk? Did you say hello on those occasions? Um, I think we waited for you by the restroom. There was a line of people waiting to say hello, and I don't know if we actually got to, yeah, get to chat. The... You didn't get to the front of the line. No, no, we did, but we were we were waiting for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, how long ago was it? Uh, this was about five years ago. Five years ago, wow. So we were, we're, we're not where we are now because I have a weekly gig, a residency, so-called at Rockwell, you know. But this must have been, I wonder where that was. Yeah, a place on Vine Street, a little oh, place that isn't maybe there Maybe Cafe anymore. Was, maybe Cafe Was. Oh, really? And you, and, and you, you did? That's so wonderful, wow. Just once, just once you guys came? Yeah. Jerry's seen you a couple of times. I've been a, many times up the street, the other club you were at. <clears throat> Great. Where? That was up past Vine and Sunset, all the way up on the right hand side. Uh, we used to pack sure. the place. We've been in a bunch of places, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good, thanks. Well, how come you, why, why? I'm not fishing for compliments, but why did you find yourself <laughs> coming to a thing like that, Jerry? Uh, <laughs> it was a social event. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. I see. Somebody said, you know, maybe this would be a good place to go. Have any of you guys ever seen uh, me perform anywhere? Well, I, I'm a big fan of yours. Not live, but you, you go first, Jenny. You, you're going to say. Uh, perform have you ever on seen television? Me, or? But have you ever seen me perform live, Jenny? Um, why, yes, I have, Vanessa. Uh, remember when you had me oh, on, uh, visit your work? On my, wait, on my web series? Oh, or, yeah. Yes. Yeah, but then did you come to, m I, sorry, I just, I want to make it about me for a, oh, okay, a couple sorry. minutes. Yeah, what that, I just because I'm here a while. Um, <laughs> what, you came to, yes, you came to my work? Yes. Yeah. Right. But what are you, what are you speaking of? I've Have just, you seen me well, perform live? I was just wondering, because we were talking about everyone's live performances, I just wanted to see if anyone had seen me perform live. You know what I mean? Because, like, I perform too. You certainly do. I'm a big fan of yours. I wish I had, <laughs> and it's one of the reasons I feel like I'm a little bit tingly now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Because this well, is our first, you know. Yes, I mean, this I'm, is our first meeting. Our me meeting, and I'm sort of watching you, hey, you know. Hey, guys. I'm sorry to do this. Oh, what? Uh oh, I thought you were going to be at yeah. El Polo. No, El I Polo came back because I was watching the live feed, and we're, <laughs> we're all sorry, guys. And I'm sorry about my attitude. There's the crew is having an issue with your mint, uh, or your it's cough all drop. Did you swallow it? Okay, I didn't swallow we're hearing it. I, it I, and we're I, seeing it. Was that? We're seeing a lot of this. So, really? <laughs> I apologize. I don't want to embarrass all. you because we are live, but. I can't, we were I can't sort of imagine. In the maybe, you, and maybe you're complaining for comic effect, but I can't imagine it would really. It's working. The breath is primo. Well, thank but, you. Um, I've sw it, it's disappeared now. I have more. I have more. Well, Jerry bought, brought a huge bag uh, of. If we were all drops. doing it, it's one thing. You know? Well, would you like some? Sure. Is this, oh, this is Halls. This is premier stuff. Halls, yeah. I what go for. Mean? I like the most <laughs> mentholated. You, what do you have, Jerry? I, if we're um, going to do it, let's do it. Cough drops. Um, I've also I, been I, I told, like oh, thank you. I've also been oh, told by the crew thank, that we have a caller. You, Should we take a call? Oh, yeah. Oh, I love the idea. Um, would you like to... I'm sorry. Sorry. Would you like to talk to us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go to, go to the address you see below. Oh, I and, think we have a call. Sorry to interrupt. We do have a call. Oh. Let's take the call. Well. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. You hear this? Hello. Hello? You're on with Jenny. Several people. And, yeah. It's like, Tim, you left, and then you said, you came back, and you said, we have a call, we know the call. It's like, what do you That's think? true. I was told, I was lied to uh. by the director of the show. Again, first timers uh, on every department. <laughs> it's a high school production here. Do we not have a call? Standing by. Standing technical by. Technical difficulties. Okay, technical difficulties. It's totally understandable. Uh, Jerry? Yes. All good? Everything's good. So who, who does, I, I was, I was looking, who do you, because I like to play this game a little bit. Yes. Who, um, who do you look like? Besides the spectacular Jenny Lewis, but what what movie star? And I know you acted, you did much acting, but and I, I'd love to. I'm curious about that, and I'd love to talk about that and how mm -hmm. that led to music and the coincidence between the two. But 
If you were a famous movie star of yesteryear, who, who would it be? I'm thinking of a couple of people. Can you think? I can think of a couple. It? Really? Well, the hair is doing some work towards certain people, for sure. Well, the general silhouette, yes, is, you know, Brigitte Bardot and all, all, all that. Oh, we, we thank mentioned you, that. Jeff. But there's something about your spectacular features <laughs> that, are, that, are, that remind me of, of, here are the ones that I've come up with so far. <laughs> Just looking, just looking today in the last ten minutes, um, Charlotte Rampling, a little young, beautiful Charlotte Rampling in a night porter, you know, mm -hmm. the downturn of this part of your eye. Uh huh. I would say, and the soul, the soulful and soulful, vulnerable yet powerful effect that this has, that this configuration has. Also, I'd say, young, beautiful Jackie Bissett. Mm -hmm. Jackie Definitely. Bissett. Definitely. Oh. Thank you. In the deep, of course, you know, she was, did you see her in, um, you know that movie she was in with Steve McQueen when she was like 20? What movie was that? What movie am I thinking of? Uh, Top Shot. Uh, <laughs> no. I just know Go. Josie Bissett from Melrose Place. No, no. no. Jacqueline, Jacqueline Bissett. Bissett or Jackie oh, oh, Bissett. Oh, oh, or, oh, yeah. He says Bissett like, I've never heard that before. No offense. I may be pronouncing it wrong. Maybe I'm here to oh. learn. We have a caller? Caller. The movie is Bullet. Where are you Bullet. Uh -huh. She was in Bullet. Bullet. Yeah. And I know the day the clown cried. Is there a potential? Oh, the day the clown died. <laughs> oh, no, we're calling people. Died. Are we prank? <laughs> we're pranking oh. people. I love we're prank calls. We're calling Pizza Huts across the world. <laughs> this is a Pizza Hut in Kuwait. I love Kuwait. pizza. If there was an alternate Jeff Goldblum, I would be eating pizza all the time. Hello. It's so good. <laughs> we shouldn't be Hello? Talking. Hello. Hi, who's this? Speak up, please. Mm. All right. Okay, moving on. More. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> this is exciting. Yeah. Who's on the other end? Mm. Maybe it's President B uh, uh, William Jefferson Clinton. Clinton. I met uh, Bill Clinton <laughs> on a couple of occasions. Guess what he ah. said to me? You're Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> he did. He said, Jeff, I've right. seen. That's wow, you're Jeff Goldblum. That's such a good impression. I've seen you on TV. <laughs> that is good, isn't it? <laughs> I'm a sucker for Im impressions. You're around You're a lot of impersonators, aren't you? I saw you on the fly. Well, he said on that occasion, it was the occasion, it was the occasion of, of Ted and Mary's, Ted Dance and Mary Steenburgen's wedding uh -huh. in like Martha's Vineyard. Mm. He had his arm around Chelsea and he said, oh, no. uh, and he said Chet in a sweet way. Yeah. And he said <laughs> and he said, uh, Jeff, I've seen a lot of things that you've done. I've I, seen a lot of things. But I've never missed an episode of Ten Speed and Brown Shoe. You say that. Say that. I've never, I've never missed an episode of Ten Speed and Brown Shoe. That's what he said. You know, I was oh, thank you so wow. much. Wow. Yeah, thank you so much. Well, that's exciting. I mean, yeah. and did, I've heard the thing about him is that he does the handshake that doesn't, and he, if he's he talking, oh, he's got big, like beautiful hands. Big. And if he needs to talk to Jenny over here, he's gonna hold on to you while he's talking to her, so he doesn't lose you. Well, I, but I don't think it's a device <laughs> on his part. You know, politi many politicians, I feel have studied, you know, Dale Carnegie or some yeah. cheesy way mm -hmm. to influence people and yeah. otherwise enroll them. I think he's really given to a healthy appetite for connection he, and self-expression. He self likes engaging, yes. Yeah, and he's a thinker and he's smart and I, I think he likes to talk about his, uh, you know, views, his, you know. I believe we were given instructions to not mention people's names on this show, but we've just been talking about a president. I think that's public. <laughs> oh, really? That's I never public. heard the names would, business. Uh, something about this being a commercial. <laughs> I don't get. I wouldn't get that. Um, do we have a call or not? Or is this part not part of the program anymore? Um, we can call right each other. We can call each other. Well, go ahead, Vanessa. Well, Jenny, I hear that you plan to shoot a live music video tonight. That sounds very exciting. And also, what does it mean? <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what's happening. Uh, so but you I guys guess... are do, you're doing a live music video throughout the night? Yes. How's that going to work? Uh, right before your eyes in two parts. I'm going to do a little costume change, and we'll see what happens. And I like the whole idea. And Jeff, you and I will randomly name movies. Okay. What? Jaws. Hey. Herman, your music is so wonderful. <laughs> how, how, how do you do it? How, how is it so so personal and individual and smart? And original, and and 
musical. How is it? How is it like that? What did you study? Did you come about? Did, did you? Or, or were you naturally musical? And did your acting, uh, this is what I wanted to say too, did your acting kind of, and finding your voice as an actress do something? You know, I just read this book about Patti Smith. Did you read that book, Just Kids, about her and Robert, Robert Maplethorpe? Yeah. yeah, and she talks about somewhat, and she talks about how she started as a poet. And she wanted to find, she was finding her ideas and her artistic, aesthetic yes. self. And that became something musical. Anyway, what does you any, have ten uh, questions to answer. <laughs> and does any Anna to go do a quick costume change. Oh, so let's direct that question to Vanessa. I'll answer that. Will right. you answer uh, for Van me? Yes, Vanessa, of course. Okay. Yes, so Jenny. I'll be right Jenny, you excuse me. And oh, I didn't realize we were right on the break. I wouldn't have asked you that. No, I no, no, no. Had I known. Oh, I'll, answer, I'll answer it very quickly. Who goes um, there? I think that Jenny. You know, I do think that her childhood acting did influence her music because. You know, she was kind of coming into herself and at the same time coming into these different characters. And again, I know we've already mentioned Troop Beverly Hills, but I think something about probably working with, I know we're not supposed to say names, uh -huh. S. Long. Esalon. I What's didn't realize Esalon? she. Oh, I, I know. I know about Esalon. No. Just tell, tell him about Esalon. No, if it's the same one I'm thinking I about. I was saying her first um, S. Is this a cult? Long. I don't want to say Shelly Long because. Ah, I see what you're doing. Oh, yeah. oh, I don't get that. Now, I've never been on a show where they said, don't mention uh, anybody's names. names. Cheers. <laughs> yes. Cheers, yeah. everybody. Now, have you watched Cheers from the beginning again? If you watch it from the beginning again. Is there a story? Is there a narrative? It's great. That... Anyway, I, I'm getting off topic. She, so, she, oh, so anyways, she, she, um, so, so that kind of influenced her music and, I know, I know we need to kind of keep moving in the show, but I just want to say, I'm interested in this. any other kind of, you know, she's, I think she's also was, you know, she did my web series a few years ago. I think that influenced her music a lot. Oh, really? You know, yeah, this web Your series. Your web series. Yeah, well, me and my brother and our friend uh -huh. Pete, we have this web series, and I think that influenced it, and I think, you know, I think I've, in general, I've been a big influence. Now, we'll get to see one of the live, we'll, we'll get to see part, we'll get to see part one of the live music video in a few minutes. But first, let's listen to another brand new song of Jenny's album. This one's called Wasted, Wasted Youth. Wasted Youth. Wasted Youth. And they're just going to listen to and the music. And we're just going to listen Red to the Bull song. And it's actually, oh. and actually, oh, it's Red Bull. the truth is it's Red Bull and Hennessy is the song. It's Red Bull and Hennessy. Hmm. <laughs> We have to do a show like this every week. <laughs>
Everybody's feeding? Great. All right, stand by for playback in three, playback two, in three, two, one. one. Playback. Playback. I'm not. And welcome back. Would you like to talk to us? Jeff. Go to the address. Hold you on, Jerry. What do you want? Go, oh. That was in the key. Oh. <laughs> what was? That her, her song? The last one. Can that was in the key of, sorry. That, yeah, that was in the key of F sharp? Yeah. Hey, Jeez. that's, a, that's, that's an obscure and difficult key. I don't think so. Because <laughs> Jenny, all you have to do is hit all the black keys. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. There are different chords. But Jenny, was that your idea to put that in F sharp or G flat? She's is that true? <laughs> so let's like, give her some privacy. Whose idea? Beck's. That was Beck's idea. Whoa. Well, Jeff. Beck. Jeff Beck. I sit at the feet of Beck. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. I got to look at those feet, and well. I'm up again in a shot. <laughs> I pitched an yeah. idea that was rejected by That's the crew too. here. What's that? Well, because Beck produced this album. And so I thought we could do a segment called, What the Heck, Beck? Hmm. <laughs> yes. Now. And then I don't know where it would go from there, you understand? Yeah. It would need to be, to be developed. Well, there's some, there's, yes. There's something there. I see. Or we could do Jeff, Jeff's Beck. And we'd have, you would bring in Beck. I love Beck. Beck and I, well, I've run into Beck. You know, I, mean, I saw Beck But you know, too. Jeff Beck is the guitar player. He's a guitar player, rock guitar player. Jeff Beck. And that's the same as Beck? No, it's a different Beck. Oh, oh, oh. Beck, Jeff Beck was from oh. Faces. The Jeff Beck group. Oh, of and course. And he, Beck. So then, then there's just Beck. But what if we're, we're Jeff's Beck? Hey, you know, my, I, my middle name is Lynn. Did you know that? Yes. I love that. Now, I know a lot of people whose middle names are Lee. Go ahead, sorry. No, no, no. Whose middle name is Lee? Lee. Oh, so Jeff it's, Lynn it's from common... the ELO. From yeah, Electric Lynn. That's what I was thinking about. Oh. Jeffrey Lynn. Jeff Lynn is a, <laughs> yes, is a singer. But you know a lot of people with something Lee. Well, Lee. a lot of Southern, -E Southern types go, ah, yeah. Jenny Lee. Jenny, yeah. Yeah. Ah, Jenny, Jenny Lee. Jenny Lewis is back in. Oh, my God. Oh, Jenny yeah. Lewis. Hey, that was fantastic. Oh. How did you change so quickly? Got a little curtain back there. Jenny Lewis, any relation? Uh, <laughs> John Lewis, the John. department store in London, in England. John Lewis. Oh. Pretty good, right? I know there's a great John Lewis who's now in the current uh, political He's a congressman. conversation, yes, and an icon <laughs> of the civil rights yes, movement. Yes, I esteem him tremendously. And we should tremendously. disparage him. And well, I found a lot of people <laughs> share last names and they aren't even related. I understand. Well, Lewis is a pretty common name. Yeah. Lewis. Lewis. 
Louis Armstrong. Well, that's his well. first name. <laughs> what, if, what, if you, what if your parents had named you Louis yeah, Lewis? Yeah, I'm Lois Lewis, Lois Lane. You know. <laughs> uh, this is the best thing that you do, is the free association of, of okay. names. Really? Yeah, I've never know. done it before, Mark. Are you kidding me? No. You've done it several times in my presence. Like what? Well, well, the movie guy, I do play the movie game That's where I associate. I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so, not free association. So say what you mean with man. Come on. Well, uh... Uh, you know, Al Pacino was in. Here's, here's we go. Uh, Al Pacino. Now you have to name a movie that he's been in. Uh, Serpico. I was watching that today. What? I was watching it today. Believe it or not, I'm getting chills. Uh, who else was in Serpico? Now you have not to name. Not John Cazale. Lind. Cazale, no, no. He only did four movies. He was in A Dog Day Afternoon with Mr. Pacino. Let's start Dear there Hunter then. And... Okay, so John Cazale takes us to. Godfather Two. I. No. Uh. Deer Hunter. Yes, uh, and Deer Hunter and The Conversation. Those were his three other movies, yeah. yeah. All nominated for Academy Awards, a beautiful actor. And yeah. they, they didn't want him to be in Deer Hunter, right? I think someone else on the cast pushed for him to be in that film. Really? There's some story about that. Oh, Do you have something so you want to add? I have something I want to add, which is, first of all, Fascinating. I, for, yeah, <laughs> color me fascinated. Yeah. Right, right. Ten. And by the way, the, but I also the cone say, are now a part of the show. Yeah, thank you, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> we are thank you, Jerry. Song. Now Jerry we have those, we yeah. have an I executive. I, I I have I have big news. Okay. We have a call. There is an executive. Wait, I understand. We have, sorry to oh. interrupt. I'm getting conflicting oh, no. reports. Breaking news. Hold that, that big news. Uh, okay. Well, we've got big news. Is there and a nice set of choppers too. No. Oh. Look at those sparklers. Well, it, it's my calling card. I wish I had that that open-faced sandwich. Start mm. talking. I wish I did. Hello. Woo. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh God. Okay, we've got a call. Let's. They say we have another call, but they've said um, it before. They've broken yeah. my heart before. Hello. Oh, do we have egg on our face? They're pranking us. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hello. 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 Who's this? Speak. Of course, they can't hear us. How would they? This is working, <laughs> this is working like a charm. Oh, you this might be an alien. This is working like a charm <laughs> That's bracelet. How they communicate. We told you this is going to be a mess. We told you this is going to be a disaster, and here we are. There's nothing disastrous. We're right on schedule. I love it. I think it. there's a special guest though that you want to talk about, right? Um, okay, so we've got a special guest now. As I was saying before, before this alien call. This was your big that, news. This, this was, was your big breaking news. news. There is an executive from Warner Brothers here. The, your record label. Your record label. Whoa. And huh? so let's bring him in. His name is Brent. <clears throat> Come on in. Brent Weinbach is here. Brent Wasser. Wasser. Weinbach Wasser. Weinbach Wasser. Oh. Brent Weinbach Wasser. Uh, Warner, Brothers, Warner Brothers. Warner uh, Brothers. Weinbach Wasser from Warner Brothers. <laughs> Brent Weinbach Wasser, Brent. Warner Brothers. Oh. Weinbach Wasser. Wasser. Yeah. Warner I've Brothers, heard yeah. That. Good. Uh, nice to meet you guys. Uh, I just want to, well, first we, off, uh, uh, oh, I, or wherever. Sure. Sure. Where yeah. Yeah. Here, here, please. Down. Please, I'm sure. Oh. Okay. This, this is how they do it on the This is sure. Okay, yeah. Welcome. Welcome here. Yeah, first off, just want to congratulate you on the new record. I can't tell you how absolutely thrilled we are, Warner Brothers, to finally welcome you to the family. Oh, well. Th this is actually my uh, f fifth record for mm -hmm. Warner's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great. So. That's great. Um, you know, the thing is about Warner Brothers is that we pride ourselves on uh, maintaining a rich and diverse roster of artists, uh, from Eric Clapton to mm -hmm. Tevin Campbell to Herbie Hancock to uh, wow. Michael Franks to uh, we are live, folks. Uh, I'm sorry, my Donald Fagan <gasps> to uh, Donald Fagan, Donald Fagan, Ooh. and uh, to uh, Steely Dan, Ooh. and back down to uh, Donald Fagan again. Mm. Um, so, <laughs> with that in mind, and to help commemorate uh, the occasion tonight, I'm going to bring out. You're referring to me as a special guest. I'm going to bring out a real special guest. We didn't. This isn't planned because we didn't want to, you know, ruin the surprise for you. But uh, we have somebody here who is uh, a hugely influential figure, and um, I'm so excited. We're so lucky that he agreed to appear here tonight. But uh, I'll just bring him out. I'm a big fan. I know you're a big fan. Uh, please welcome 
You're so stoked right now. <gasps> is it Donald Fagan? <laughs> Duffy Duck. Duffy Duck? Duffy Duck. Duffy Duck. Duffy Duck. Oh, oh from hi, nice to meet you, Duffy. Oh, he's, he's, he's speechless. Oh. He's mute. Uh, how, how is Duffy Duck different yeah. than Daffy Duck? We can't say Daffy Duck. Uh, can we give everybody, can oh. we give, let's give uh. Duffy Duck a hand, everybody. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. So um, the reason Duffy <laughs> is here tonight is because, uh, well, I have some exciting news to share with you. Um, so Warner Brothers is innovating a new artist cartoon partnership. And fortunately for you, you're being paired with only the best, Duffy Duck. Now, I know you're thinking, okay, where's Big, Bigs Bugs? Bigs Bugs bu Bunny. Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Bigs Bugs Bunny. Bigs Bugs. You're thinking, where's Big Bugs so, Bunny? I'm not on the right? level here. Well, here's the thing about Bigs Bug Money, is that uh, he's, uh, in my opinion, uh, not as good as Duffy Duck. And also, uh, Bugs Bunny was already paired with uh, Donald Fagan, so we couldn't um, get him for that anyway. But um, the great news is that Duffy Duck is going to be going on tour with you, and he'll be at all the shows. Uh, there'll be a meet and greet with Duffy, and there'll even be uh, Duffy Duck merchandise. So. We just wanted to share that with you uh, tonight, and we're so excited. You're so lucky uh, that uh, Duffy agreed to do this. So yeah. we're really excited. Yeah. Uh, I. It, well, I interesting. No, but, but Jenny, I feel work. you have something on your mind. Speak, speak your mind. I would. Well, I mean, we didn't talk about this, so I'm a little uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, I know. It's really exciting. Bringing, yeah. I hey, mean, Duffy seems nice, but... I get it. You're in shock, and uh, it's a lot to process. So we're going to let you process that, but... How has um, he worked into this so person? Yeah, how does, he have his, does he have, his, like, a routine that he does? No, he's just going to be hanging out, um, you know, sort of be meeting with, the fan, with your fans and his fans and uh, sort of be there for moral support, you know? So uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a fun thing. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm going to let you think about it some more, and... Uh, we're just well, so excited about it. to Warner Brothers. It seems Brothers. like it's a done deal. What's your think about it? I don't like it. This is this is not none of my business, uh, and, you know. And I don't mean to disparage your fine work and and you, Duffy Duck. Although I've never heard of D Duffy Duck, uh, but you're a great artist, and Jenny is a great art artist, and and you weren't aware of the five of the other times, four of the times that she'd been with you, and I think she has something, on you know some. Um, um, but Jeff, you know, um, I, I think um, she should be allowed to do the show she wants to do without sort of co corporate interference. That's, you know what, what? that's what I'm thinking. You know what that's mean? what I'm thinking. I, nothing. Her, is that, is that, what, is that how you out? feel? Well, yeah, this is just a shock. I have to kind of process it. it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Trust I know, well, me. So he's sort of like a hype me. man. You don't need to make the, the hard case here. I think just let her process it. And if she wants to bring out Duffy on tour, she can do that. I'm going to let you uh, move on with the stream. Uh, the, the internet broadcast, but once again, congratulations on the record. Congratulations on Duffy Duck. We'll see you in a little bit, all right? Congratulations on Duffy Duck. All right, Duffy, congratulations why don't you take Congratulations to you for having such a wonderful, wonderful artist uh, in, your, in your... The Looney Tunes, right? Well, nice to meet you. Yeah, see you, Duffy Duck. See you. See, see you. Whoa. That was I think weird. that might have just I been. Was a trying, I didn't want to fit. step out of my. Know. You know, be, 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 be out of my place, right. but. That seemed like it could be a prank. Do we have a call? Well, <laughs> could have been a prank. The whole thing yeah. could have been a prank. The whole thing could be a, could have been yeah. a sketch. You okay. Know? Well, there we go. If the thing was I don't serious, know. <laughs> I never, like I said, you would I never go for a weekend. thing like that. I just even got back. It seems well. like a corporate. That, that, that's a corporate. But even I don't believe that a corporate, you know, entity would go like for something like that. Yeah, it seems tacky. Yeah. yeah. Well, and it, in, uh, unbelievable, even as a It does seem like a, a stretch. So, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. It Jeff. seems poorly Wait, poorly written. We well, I don't know I don't about know that. It was well, well, well. well. Like I said, first timers <laughs> all around. We have another special guest coming in, uh, okay. who is a little bit more uh, professional. Professional, uh, and wow, we love this gal a whole lot. Everybody, Jenny Ellisque is a serious XM host. A serious and it can, XM No, host. a serious. So she not serious. It, she she serious. takes it seriously. Don't do this. Um, and a contributing <laughs> editor at Rolling Stone. <laughs> at Rolling Stone. Let's bring her out for a segment that we literally had to call Jenny on Jenny. Ooh, I and I guess, Jeff, you and I are going to exit. Oh, we're oh, we're oh, lovely to see you. Oh, lovely to see you. We'll be around. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck to you Mess. on this. Jenny. Oh, thank you. Oh, and Jenny. Welcome, Jenny. I'm oh, Jeff. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Oh, what a pleasure God. it is. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, indeed. Mutual. Oh, oh so fine. I brought you some crystals. Oh, thank you. I need and them. Therefore, your auric field. My and auric your, field is a little. Therefore, your auric fields, my friend. Oh, my auric fields. It's such a joy to be here. Thanks to, for uh, coming out. Yeah, introduce the internet and the world at large to uh, on the line, a yes. little tiny taste at a time. A little little taster, little sample. Little sample. Platter. Bit by bit, little insights, pearls little, of wisdom. Little tips from Lewis about each and every one. I'm still processing, da uh, you know, the Daffy vibe. Duffy, Duffy. That's cool. What a dick. I mean, duck. <laughs> um, I th I think we should start at the top, right? Start uh, at the top sure. of uh, on the line. Yes. Head's gonna roll. Let's let's, let's uh let's listen to a little uh, head's gonna roll, and then we'll talk about it. Okay. What's heads, heads Gonna Roll? What's that all about? Uh, heads Gonna Roll started out as a little uh, boxing reference. I'm a boxing fan. Oh, yeah. And uh, there's a line, I'm gonna keep on dancing till I hear that ringing bell. And that's a little bit of a Floyd Mayweather reference there. But it's a, a, a love song in uh, three parts. Wonderful. Track two, Wasted Ute. Got a little bit of this. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's play. Let's roll wasted. Oh, there it was. Who the heck is Poppy? Oh, I'm glad you didn't think it said puppy, because uh, a couple of my friends have thought, oh, I wasted my youth on a puppy. Mm. But it's not puppy. It's uh, Poppy. Yeah. And you can guess what that's all about. What could it be? Oh, I, don't I don't know. know. Relatedly, up next, another song about substances. Oh, yeah. And we got a couple of those. <laughs> Red Bull and Hennessy. Yeah. Jerry's vibing. Is this your favorite track, Jerry? Is that your favorite track? Uh, I like them all, but the last track. I mean, they're all genius, but the last track. It's... We're going to get there <laughs> one track at a time. Uh, Red Bull and Hennessy, not a cocktail uh, recipe. I don't recommend combining those two in any way, shape, or form. More of a feeling. Yeah. The feeling of being on Red Bull and Hennessy, you can kind of, it's a little edgy. It's a little bit of both. Yeah. Uh, up next, on the line. Do -si do Let's let's cue a little of that. So this one is definitely like a different vibe, a little bit instrumentation-wise from the rest of the album. This is a, a Beck produced song. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of Beck vibes on there. Um, do -si do I learned how to two-step while living in Nashville. So I wanted to write a little song about a dance. Did you teach yourself or did you have a tutor? Um, I went to a bar in downtown Nashville and there's this uh, gentleman who dances with all of the young ladies and he, he taught me how to two-step. Nice. Do -si do uh, What about Dogwood? Let's hear a bit of that. <laughs> it's for my poor <laughs> Well, that's a heavy cut, Jay. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, a rough one. That's a, yeah. Do you, do you feel it every time you sing it? Um, yes. I feel it every time I sing it. Um, and the... Dogwood flower is sort of like a recurring theme um, and is on a bunch of my little set pieces here. We've got some oh, wow. dogwood flowers nodding Creating. to that song, which is the center of the record. We're so at the middle. Got, oh, yeah, we're at the middle. Sweet, sweet middle point. And Party Clown, quick switch up of vibe totally after Dogwood 
takes you to a bleak place. Got to bring it up. Got to bring it up. Let's listen to some Party Clown. Party Clown. It's fun to dance your own music. <laughs> the chair dance. <laughs> feels kind of weird, but it's cool. Uh, Party Clown is a um, dystopian tale about South by Southwest. Ugh, sounds yeah. familiar. Yeah. You know the vibe. You've been down there. <laughs> Why am I here again? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Little White Dove uh, up next. We got a bit of that. Another Beck uh, produced cut. I feel like this is a classic Lewis vibe, this song. It's just like all the kinds of sultry I love from my girl. So this song has a, a guitar solo on it um, by uh, a guy called uh, Smokey Hormel. Great guitar player and was my first favorite guitar player that I looked up in the liner notes of a Tom Waits song. And I was like, who's playing guitar on this? And it was Smokey Hormel when I was like a teenager. And then uh, he's on this song. It's very exciting for me. Let's, uh, let's hear a little bit of Taffy. Another yeah. upbeat one there. Yeah. Man, I mean, like, I, lo I just love, it's not a question, but I just love that it's got the balance of the Heartbreaker songs. I feel like, I mean, that's, that's just one of the vibes I keep coming back for more of when I listen to this album on my own time. Mm -hmm. I got an advance. <laughs> you sure did. Um, the title track is up next, and we're going to listen to some of it, but also I'm just, I'm, I'm always curious about, like, why, how the title track becomes the title track. Let's, let's listen to a little of it first. track it always takes a minute you've got like a I, I always take from a song title this one I kind of knew on the line was the theme for the record well I didn't know until I knew and then I knew but yeah. that's that's the the album title and it means a lot of things but I feel like the feeling in that song is, is what's kind one of the, of the things it means uh, one thing um, just kind of waiting for someone to come around just kind of waiting on the line um also kind of towing the line between your life and your work and your personal life um and uh yeah well now we're at the last song one of my favorites let's listen to some of rabbit hole Oh, oh, hey. Thank you for that <laughs> clip there. Sure was. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes that happens where you get so uh, twisted up in a relationship that you start doubting the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. So That's, rabbit hole is a mantra. It's like, uh -uh, not gonna go back there. I know where I stand on the Beatles and the Stones. Yeah, I know where I stand. Lewis, thank you so Jenny, much. Jenny, love you. Put it in your bra. You can put it in your put bra. Put it in your bra. Put it in your bra. Put it in your bra. I can tell her you're taking a call. I'm gonna put these in my bra. I think we might have a call. Oh, we have a call. Great. Wow. Shall we take a call? Let's take a call. All right, let's do it. <laughs> oh. Nope. Mm. Well, 
We tried there again. I'm sure it was an awesome question. On the line. On the line. Yeah, online. Can someone text me? Does anyone have a phone? <laughs> Shall we text? Um, Use a magical. I can... oh, oh, hey. Oh. Hey, hello. Hey. Hi. Hello. Hello, you are Hello. on the line with J and J, Jenny and Jenny, J, J and J, Jenny, <laughs> Jenny and Jerry. What's happening? Nice, this is exciting. You have a, you have a question for Jenny Lewis or what? Or anyone else here? Hello? Hello? All right. All right. Who, I kind of, who was that? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Crystal? Hello. Cough drop, anyone? Cough drop, Jerry? Cough drop? Cough drop? Oh, fine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna have one. Ooh, international. We're gonna play, back. We're gonna play the song, Wait for You. Oh, great. Let's, uh, time for a song? Time for a song. I guess we're not getting a call. Try again, caller. Let's listen to Wasted Youth. Oh, there it is. There's the call. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> no? Let's, uh, let's listen to this frickin' jam right here. Wasted Youth.
Welcome back, Jenny. Welcome back, Vanessa. I would like to introduce a very special guest, my very best friend in the world, Morgan Nagler. Hello over there. Hello, bud. Hi, Jerry. Um, this is one of my favorites. Thank you. You want to come over and yeah, hang out with us deal. on the couch? Hey, Jerry, do you mind giving Morgan a little uh, walking music? Oh, there it is. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, a beautiful performance. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful entrance. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, we've been best friends for uh, I would say over 20 years. Over 20 years. Oh. We were just, I was trying to figure it out earlier in the makeup room. Um, uh, Morgan is my favorite songwriter. We've been writing songs together since we were bias. kids. I know, but <laughs> truly, <laughs> as our friendship has grown, we've shared songs with each other in living rooms, in apartments, on the road, in motel rooms. Psychically in dreams. Psychically in dreams, in poetry. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you here. I'm it so happy so to much be here. To and Jerry, the three of us hang out quite a bit. And Jerry had a video concept where we uh, would be uh, horse on horseback. Remember, oh, Jerry? Yeah. Do you want to tell? <clears throat> Giddy up, yeah. you nag. <laughs> Giddy up, you nag. That's yeah. the concept <laughs> of the video. And yeah. we're all, we're dressed. Uh, how are we dressed in the video? 18th century outfits <clears throat> on horses, side saddle. And somebody I came know. up and said, what are you maidens doing here? <laughs> we can't get these nags to move. <laughs> Giddy up, nag. <laughs> Giddy up. And he couldn't make it happen. Then somebody, who we will mention or not mention, came to your doorstep <laughs> and said, I ran across these two beauties. They couldn't get those nags to move. And his nose started to grow and grow and grow. <laughs> My ex-boyfriend, that's who your you're referring to. Your ex-boyfriend, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've known them all. Yeah, I've known them all. Both of you. Oh, yeah. Well, Morgan. Yes. Would you say you know basically everything about Jenny? Um, I wouldn't say everything, but I bet I'd have a, a good shot. Now, because of that, uh -oh. I would like uh -oh. to invite uh -oh. callers to take Morgan's Jenny Lewis Trivia Challenge. Do you know as much about Jenny as Morgan does? Try and call in, and we'll see if it works. <laughs> so should we? Uh, and 
And does it is and it sounds like it might not. So I'll take the challenge. <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh, oh, hello. What's your name? Hi, I'm Kelsey. <gasps> Kelsey. <laughs> Kelsey from Brooklyn. Oh my gosh, we're so excited to have you here. Amazing. Hello, Kelsey. You made it through. I know, I'm so excited. <laughs> Kelsey, I have three questions for you. Are you ready? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Now, if you have been watching this telethon from the beginning, the first one uh, might be easy, but the question is, According to her song released in 1999, Jenny could do the Frug, she could do the Robocop, and she could do the Freddy. What couldn't she do? Kelsey? Yay! 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 Kelsey! <laughs> um, this one might be a little bit tough, but I just want you to use your psychic powers and see if you see if you can hone into the answer. How many dudes? Okay. <laughs> how many dudes do you guess have made out with both Jenny and myself? Ah, whoa! I... <laughs> how, do you want it to no be multiple idea. choice? How about we make it multiple choice? The choices are one, <laughs> four, and uh, 11. Um, I hope, just Jeff Goldblum, I hope that got to happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not the question, but okay. uh, more of a statement. I have a guess, but you, you go first because you're the caller. One, four, or eleven? Um, eleven. Jeez, Kelsey. <laughs> my, wow. My guess is <laughs> my guess is four. You win the prize on this one. The answer is four. <laughs> four, dude. Sorry, I wasn't trying to compete uh, with you. <laughs> um, okay, we have one more question. <laughs> um, if you're ready, Kelsey, this one is also a multiple choice question. Which phrase do you think Jenny has mentioned she would like quoted on her gravestone? Choice A is love, 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 then you die. Choice B, it's almost Christmas. Choice C, one up from the cheapest. Is there a caller? Yes, Kelsey. We've got Kelsey on the line. It's happening. Please do. Sorry, I'm sorry it cut out on that on that web, on the oh. third option. Oh, the, the third option was, um, I believe it was, one up from the cheapest. One up from the cheapest. My guess is it's almost Christmas. I'm sorry that I keep trying to compete with her. <laughs> she wants in on this trivia game. So, Kelsey, your choice is... One up from the cheapest. You got it right. Oh my god. Kelsey Damn. wins on this one. That's two out of three, Kelsey. Woo! What does she win? Uh, she wins nice. our never ending love and that's Thank it. That's it. <laughs> Thank you, Kelsey. <laughs> you did so great. We're so proud of you. Thank you. Thanks, Kelsey. Thanks. And thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Morgan. Because even though I always tell people Jenny is my best friend, you really are her best friend. <laughs> We're all BFFs here. Thank you for having me. Guess that was your cue to leave. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of here. No music this time? Oh, there we go. Oh, there, there we go. go. There she goes. Yes. There she goes. Terrific. Wow. Tim. I'm back. Hey, Tim. And now, please, please bring it to me. And now, it's time to go to Jenny for a segment called Jenny Lewis and the Huey Lewis and the News News. Oh. Oh, is this breaking news? Breaking news. Regarding Huey Lewis. Uh, uh, do you want the good Huey Lewis news first or the bad Huey Lewis 
<laughs> news, news uh, first. I want, I always, and I always want the good news first. Um, good Huey Lewis news. Huey Lewis and the News musical, The Heart of Rock and Roll, announced. <gasps> uh, would you like to hear a little synopsis? Yes, of course. Uh, mainstays on the Chicago dive bar circuit, Bobby and his band are hustling for their big break. But after their latest rejection, Bobby decides it's hip to be square, trades in his guitar, and starts working for a living in corporate America. That sounds incredible. I was zoned out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was not listening. Now to I get. Now I guess I'll. Now I guess I'll have to hear the bad uh, news. You he want to hear the bad? He uh, passed away. Huey Lewis. And the news, news, news. Uh, at this year's AT&T Pebble Beach Pro AM, Huey Lewis told KPIX San Francisco that his golf game hasn't been great lately. Lewis joked, I'm playing so bad, Tiger Woods could have beat me. Okay, Ooh. Huey. Okay, He's Huey. Got a little bit of a... He's got a sass to him. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say a sass. <laughs> you were? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, almost reminds me of his album, Sports. <laughs> well, that's the bad news. News. This concludes Jenny Lewis and the Huey Lewis and the News News. Yes. Huey, if... What's going on? Hey, so, Tim. You, pardon I, me. Sorry. Sorry. Like you're producing it, I'm trying to do what you produced, and you're kind of. Huey, if you're watching and you have a response, feel free to call our hotline and leave a message with your Huey Lewis and the Jenny Lewis and the Huey Lewis and the News News. Puzzle time. Hey, look! <laughs> Puzzle challenge. Hey, look! Jason Schwartzman just got here. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jason. How are you? Good. Th thanks for coming down. Oh, please. Thank he, you for having me. He's actually been in the building this whole time, and we're show <laughs> but we're just showing him to you now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Jason, it's so great to see you, by the way. Vanessa, how are you? Good. It's been a while. I haven't seen you since we did a film together. That's true. That's are we allowed true. to say the name of it? No. Yeah. Yeah, the I don't Polka know. King. <laughs> that was it. But I'm Jack not Black. Yeah. I'm not allowed to say that either. It, and Jenny Slate. <laughs> Oh, Jack hey, Black was in. hey, J hey, Jason. Cool. Yes. We'd love to have you come on down to the couch. Me go down to the couch? That's what I'm hearing in my... Can I ask oh, a question? Is that working? Have we established the puzzle already? Oh. Have we explained that we're doing playing a puzzle. Puzzle, putting I, puzzles together? Yeah. Well, this is the album cover. Oh. oh. And oh. this is it, too. Wait, oh. I was not aware of that. Yikes. And, uh... Oh. <laughs> And oh, I see. Oh, yeah, Whoa. I see. I didn't and, um, realize that until this now. This is the, yes. And so we were just going to put together this puzzle of the album cover. Um, <laughs> they've made it. So they've very made a hard. puzzle of the album cover. And, and is, this is the album cover? That's, that's it. And so is Jason's shirt, which is a little, uh, um, well. Oh, yeah, it's, that's, it's, that's it's cute. nice. It's nice. It's handmade. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Isn't it yeah. nice? Halter top. The thing, top. That, the thing that Jeff's holding up yeah. doesn't seem like the right aspect ratio for an album so, cover. No. Well, well it is. May, I, may I ask, is this you, Jenny? <laughs> <laughs> is, that is, is me, Jeff. It is you? It's be very beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Did you, How come you didn't frame it with your face <laughs> on it? So. So. Good question, Tim. You should ask Duffy. It's Who's Duffy? Duffy. Duck. Oh, Duffy. Oh, Duffy. Duffy, Duffy. Duck. That was... Well, How's you know, the puzzle going, guys? Well, you know, the challenge well, we just is started. that... There, the challenge is we're going to see who can put the puzzle together faster. And, you know, I wish the producers hadn't told me, invite Jason over the couch, because now there's egg on my face. Well, we should have him over. But, yeah, but, but just so you know, the challenge is who can put the puzzle together faster. And now, you know, I don't want to have it. My hands are well, tied, so the, I don't... Uh, point of order, <laughs> it's not fair to Jason if he's competing Meaning, in a puzzle competition to pull him away. To the couch. So that, maybe the... That's pause the, only thing. the game. Pause the puzzle challenge. Pause but the puzzle challenge. That's the only thing. Challenge. That's only fair, right, Jason? I well, that was that was the only thing I was thinking was if it's a real if it's a real competition, that's that then you can keep working on it while I go over there. Well, we can fair. take it however we can take. We want to take it, I suppose. In the spirit of tonight, I, it, it feels to me, <laughs> you know, it's 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 as much you know communal and uh, full of gemutlich gemutlichkeit. <laughs> <laughs> 
as, co <laughs> as a kind of competition. And we've already said, I think, that we don't, even if you, you intend it to be, we're not taking this too serious. We won't take it too seriously. <laughs> I, we wouldn't want to beat each other. We have a great feeling for each other. Yeah. And, and, and we don't want to, we wouldn't want to best each no. other at, a, at, at puzzlement. Well, why did... <laughs> Why don't we have Jason come over? Well, I I would love to. I, you know, I I don't want to always be like the mean parent who's mm -hmm. like, stay on track. Yeah, you know? I'm saying I yes. don't know. And I'll stop. I'll tell you what I'll do. In all my honor, I will not look at a puzzle piece. I won't move a puzzle piece while you're over right. there. I'm gonna take I'll one stop. of your puzzle pieces as collateral. <laughs> hey. Uh, in a lot of ways, I feel like we've done our Jason Schwartzman uh, segment. Yeah. But come on. Oh, over. here he is. Thanks, Jerry. Hello. Hello. That's nice that the crew's applauding now. A nice upgrade for the night. More applause, perhaps. So, congratulations. Thank you. I'm very excited. I've only heard two songs from the album, but I love them both very much. How many songs are on there? Eleven. Eleven songs. Great. How long is it? <laughs> Tim hasn't heard it yet, so it's cool. It's no, really good. It sounds like it would be good. It's good. <laughs> it is. It's really good. Yeah. It, you'd love it. You're going to love it. Is it all in, in tune and everything? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's in tune. No, they recorded it. What it's tuners tune. do you use? Oh, I, I, we can't say brand names. But oh, I can't use say electronic snark. tuners? <laughs> Snarks? I enjoy a snark. I do like a snark. A snark is, can, they didn't exist. Back in the day, and they are sure convenient. Do you keep a snark on your thing during a show, or you take it off? I take it off. It's a little dorky to keep the snark on there, but sometimes I wish it ha I had it on there. You were recently involved in a um, criminal situation, criminal events, or is that not something we should discuss? No, I can talk about it. Okay. <laughs> uh, go ahead. You were robbed. Yeah. I oh, was no. Robbed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the, all right. I, my office got broken into, hmm. and uh, it was a real, uh, it was a bummer. But I don't want to bring it down. I don't want to bring the whole thing down. But yeah, you uh, asked. You me guys ever been robbed before? Um, my car got broken into, uh, years ago. What was taken? Uh, CDs. Mm. Kind of bringing it back to that. <laughs> yeah. Pink remember. Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. Is Wish you were right? here as well. Both. <laughs> yeah. I was put. I was. I was in that phase in high school, listening to Animals, mm -hmm. uh, Dark Side of the Moon, of course, Uma Guma, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Double CD, thick. You and know. Yes. Oh, and what? Do you? Um... <laughs> why? Why are you being so quiet? Me? Yeah. <laughs> I just. I'm, <laughs> because I. I want to. Well. <laughs> Uh, you want me to be louder? Do you want me to be louder? Let me ask you a question. Do no. you like magic? I love magic. And and now, uh, and I now, love it. Speaking, in, uh, speaking of magic, and now, the one of a kind magic of Simone Turkington. Jeff, yes. Jeff, again. Just there again. This is the Jeff Goldblum show. Hi, everyone. I'm Simone Turkington. Now, I want to share with you some observations I've made on the subject of connection. There's different types of connection, but to start, we're just going to use an inanimate object. We're going to use the humble old playing card. Now, I'm going to have you to just check it. Now, can you confirm for me that's a sealed deck of cards, that is correct? A okay, deck. Thank you. Jeff, you're satisfied? That's a sealed deck. I started to open it and forgot to ask. No, 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 sure. You, you no. can tell that I, I half opened it. Did you what? I half started to open it. That's good? You, you, okay, you we're good. Thank you. He half. Are you British? Are you British? I'm Australian. Small? I'm Australian. Oh, Australian. I thought I detected something. Okay, so when we open up a standard new deck, how are these cards connected? Well, without going all the way back to the tree, cards are printed on a large sheet of cardstock. They're then cut down to size, boxed up, sealed with a sticker, shrink-wrapped and then bundled by the dozen. And that's how magicians typically buy our cards. Uh, we call those bricks of cards. Now, I've had bricks going back at least a couple of years, and who knows how much time passed between manufacture. Yeah, I'll hurry it up. Um, who knows how much time passed between manufacture and ending up with me? My point is, these cards have been together for a really long time. Okay, so taking out a new deck, take out our jokers. Nice knowing you. Uh, if we go through the deck now, we have our spades, 
our hearts, yeah. our diamonds, all the way through to our clubs at the end. And then we have a couple of advertising cards, which we can get rid of as well. But that leaves us with a standard deck of 52 cards, OK? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know. These cards, they've been in here so long, but I feel kind of like people. The black ones, I feel like they're maybe kind of the more introverted cards like me. So who here identifies as an introvert? Thank you. Yes, it should be about 50-50. I should have asked this the other way around. But that's okay, people at home. I know there's a lot of you out there, which is why you're at home right now. So being introverts, you know what it's like. You get that Facebook invite, and you're like, oh, my God, that sounds so fun. And you click that you're going, and then two days before the event, you get the reminder, and you're like, I'm, I'm not going to that. Well, that's how I think our black cards feel. So I'm going to take them out, ace through ten, and I'm going to set them aside here in this glass. They're going to think about going out. But for now, they're just going to sit there and rest. Hearts, however, they are raring to go. I'm going to take those out. They are looking for a bit of adventure. So Morgan, would you mind mixing those cards up? Give them a good mix. OK? Yes? Weren't there some spades in there that you, that you, no, that you left spades. in there? But wait, I saw a few spades in there that you left in there just now. Yeah. Just now. Yeah, Didn't I took I? out ace through 10. A ace through 10. OK, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the picture card is still there. OK, we're taking okay. out ace through 10. I'm glad you're on top of it. OK, OK, good. You can see Jeff is your eyes, everybody. <laughs> OK, so you mix those up? Sure mix. OK, great. So let's see how uh, Morgan has mixed up the cards. Morgan has mixed them up as follows. Uh, 5, 8, ace, 10, 9, 3, 4, 6, 2, and 7. Now, that is Morgan's unique mix of cards, but I want to make it just a little bit more unique. So, Jeff, I'm going to yeah. spread those out Smaller. like that. Okay. okay. Good. That's fairly even. Now I'm going to, Jeff, I'm going to run my finger over the cards like this, and Please. I want you to tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. So that puts me <laughs> about here. Very efficient. Okay. So Jeff has stopped on the Four of Hearts. So based on the way Morgan mixed it up and where Jeff said stop, we've ended up on the Four of Hearts. Had they done those things differently, we'd be on a different card. But this is where we are, and this is where we're going to stay. So I'm going to take that, turn it around, and now we have indeed a unique packet. I think it's safe to say there is no other packet of 10 cards like this anywhere in the world. It's pretty, oh the chances are pretty slim, Jeff. <laughs> Give us a hand. Okay. Wait, so that was the trick? That's not the trick. <laughs> Patience, Tim. Okay, so are we talking about connection? How do we understand connection as people? Well, we know when we spend a lot of time with someone, you really get to know them. You can sense what's happening with them without them saying a word. So hopefully, the same is true of these cards. Now, using the silk, which I think demonstrates and picks up my vibe of style and good taste. Thank you. Uh, I think the same can be said for these cards. Because if you wave it over the glass, see if it picks up on that vibe, and looks like, thank you, <laughs> looks like the cards match. Because now we have the five in front on both packets. If what's happened? If we take out yeah. the five of hearts, we have this the eight of I hearts. If we take out the five of spades, we have the <laughs> yeah. eight of spades. If we take out the eight of hearts, we have the ace. If we take out this eight, we have the ace. In fact, if we continue, we'll find that the tens match, what? the nines wow. match, wow. the threes wow. match. Wow. Thank you. The, oh. Uh oh, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> We've come to that turned over card. Yeah. Yeah. Seems yeah. the hearts were feeling kind of twisted up inside. Ooh, Did the spades sympathize? Just like magic. Wow. Indeed, wow. they did. If we look at the remaining wow. cards, they all match. Wow. Thank you. Jeff, talk to her about this. Talk Quite wondrous. I, I, I can't imagine how you did that. Uh, amazing. Amazing. Don't, don't talk to me. Talk to her. Oh, uh, I, I, I'm amazed. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Magic. Ama Magic. Amazed. I wasn't sure how the whole theme of connectedness and connection fulfills itself with the, you know, the simultaneous, you know, with the coincidental uh, uh, order of the cards. But, uh, you know, I like the idea. Thank you. But beautifully done. I still can't imagine how, how you possibly did that. Some kind of trickery. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> trickery. 
Yes. Thank you. Live critique from Jeff Goldblum. Thank you. It gets Magicians 10 out of 10 critique. Goldblums. 10 out of a possible 10 Goldblums. That's my That's a lot. highest. That's very rare. That's highest rate. We don't get that a lot. All right. Is that, is that a help and steal? Amazing. And thank you to everyone who's donated tonight. You can still donate to the Downtown Women's Center at JennyLewis.com slash news. Joining us in the studio now is professional cartoonist, Cena Grace. Okay. I'll be right over here. Hi. Nice to see you. Oh, my God. You look amazing. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm not mic'd. Oh, my gosh. You're not mic'd. Okay, we'll repeat. Well, you can express through your... Yeah, for your work. Yeah. What's this now? I'm gonna draw. Okay, so. Okay, we've got a caller who's gonna come oh. in soon. Oh, oh yes. This, but this is. I use my art to express how I feel. <gasps> so anyway. Beautiful. That's that's how I feel right now. It's so, me. So. Yeah, it me. It's me. <laughs> I'll do better for you. Well, you're honestly. some cartoonist. I know. <laughs> I know. Can you believe, the talent tonight? Uh, off off the Top you know notch. charts yeah. as you know as a phrase. Now, we have a caller? the next caller will call, uh, the next prize <laughs> will be um, a custom caricature of the next mm -hmm. caller. Yeah. So whoever calls next is in for <laughs> some uh, art. Hello? Uh-oh. Hi. Hi. Can you turn your distortion uh, pedal off? <laughs> I think that's on us. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, uh, my name is Sandra from Costa Rica with <gasps> my husband, Ben. We're here for our honeymoon. Wow. Oh, wow. my gosh. Congrats. My dad lives there. Go say hi to yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> he, you know that his dad lived yeah, there? Yeah, right on. Some people do it as an accomplishment. <laughs> my dad lives there. Yeah. <laughs> So I get to draw you. Can you, this is not creepy, can you describe yourself to me? Yep. Are you for what we Oh, yeah. Huh? You're was, that, was that your way of saying you have like Sigourney Weaver hair in the 80s? You're cutting out a little bit, but we're gonna try and still draw you based on kind of what we do here, you know? Yeah. Sorting, well, okay, I can. Okay. So yeah, what? Yeah. You so have a head shape. I know that much. Can you tell us what your hair is like? Uh, my hair is um, long. Hair of a human. Great. Uh, is it a straight or a wave woman. or a curl? It's a little wavy. It's a little wavy. It's, I've gotten it to be like you know. Where? where how do you part it? Do you have bangs? It's, I think it's a boob, like it's sticking me out. It's like a boob? <laughs> Say that again. We, we... No. I, middle part. Oh, middle, middle part. Middle part, no bangs. And she said no bangs? And yeah, no and bangs? I think there's a little right. wave. Bad. Bad. Now, or a big wave. Would you... a, there is a little wave. There is a little wave. A little wave. Well, <laughs> on the beach, uh, what's better than a beachy, wavy hair? You know? Yeah. Right, Jenny? Nothing. I mean, that's the thing. Now, what would you say about... Um, how far apart your eyes are. <laughs> how far apart my eyes are? What do you think, sweetie? How far, far apart are your eyes? Uh, slightly farther than normal. I <laughs> okay. <laughs> Freakishly far apart. Well. What color are your eyes? It's kind of like a fish situation. Blue. They're blue. They're blue? Okay. Blue. Do you have and what? Do your oh, eyes go different yeah. direction? Do you have wonky eyes? I think they're just wide. Okay. They're hard. Not at the moment. No. 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 Giving her nice eyelashes. Dude, I am like very excited about this right now. What about the schnoz? Pleasure, but this is very cool. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, Tim was just asking about your nose. And I also like just want to thank. I just, uh, I just okay. My my nose is good, but I just want to for a moment to thank much for like. Doing this event that's donating to the Women's Center, that is so rad. That's a like super radical thing you're doing. That. Thank you. But on to the nose, uh, <laughs> smallish. 
What does your nose look like? She, she says she smallish. Oh, smallish. smallish. Yeah, I drew pretty small. Do you have freckles? Do you have big eyebrows? Do you have a unibrow? No. No? Just two? No brows. No. And and what would you say is kind of your general expression at most times? Like, I know for me, and this is not, I'm Please. not trying. Pleased, yeah. I was going to say I smile a lot, which. Yeah, smile. Generally, yeah, I, I say I, I generally like resting faces, smiling. That's generally, so nice. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what she looks like, but this looks like her. <laughs> what, what about your lips? Are they like full or little? Like. Did you hear that? They're full. They're full. They're full. Okay. And She's what? Married, man. Yeah. Do, and do you normally wear? I don't know how much how much into clothing you get, but do you normally wear? Is it a pantsuit? Is it a dress? Is it a face. dress suit? I can go with the light. Like a skirt suit. A jumpsuit. A jumpsuit. A jumpsuit, a jumpsuit would be ideal. Jenny, you wear a lot of jumpsuits, wouldn't you say? I do wear a lot of onesies. I love a onesie, except when you have to pee. Then oh, it's like, yeah. love a onesie. <laughs> what about your yeah. chin? <laughs> and like, you got a weird my chin? chin? Um, no, no. I think no. Visible. Great. Um, yeah. Like dimples or anything? Dimples when I smile. <laughs> well, you. Well, I think I think that Zena's going to keep drawing, and I'm we're going to almost done. We're Actually, okay. I can do it right. I think now. we're going to come sure. back. We. I think we're supposed to come back to you okay. later, though. So take your time. Okay. And will you give us your name one more time? Because you cut out. We heard your husband's name, but we didn't hear your name. Oh. Oh. My name's Sarah. 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 Okay. Name so, is ben. so now we can yeah. put. Uh, a name with what will most likely be an almost exact replication of what you look like. So that's very How exciting. Can we get a picture very of her to so. Oh, we're gonna try and get a picture of you too, so that we can do a comparison. So can you tweet a picture to stay, Jenny or something? Yeah, maybe stay on the line. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I will be on the line. Okay, someone will ask you for a, a photo, photo. I think now. Speaking of on the line. Okay, right on. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so much, Sarah. Right. right on. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Now the Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah. The prompter says to bring back Brent from Warner Brothers. Is that right? Uh, yeah. The, the plan? I guess I have. Okay, here. I have to. Welcome back, <clears throat> Brent. Um, yeah, I just have some big news. Uh, I'll make it brief. Uh, come on in, Duffy. Um, so uh, just real quick. I got off the phone with corporate, and uh, they gave us the green light. And not only will Duffy Duck be appearing at all of your shows, he will also be now performing with you on stage as part of the band. So that's pretty cool, right? Uh, he'll be singing along and uh, sort of just, you know, We discussed being this, in the band. man. We're not, she's not into it. And, uh, well, it's, it's we're into it. Out. There's really no uh, discussion about that. So, but, well, why, but why what, you, what is exciting is that we now want why are you, you taking to... This yo, why are you taking this opportunity during her thing where she's trying to raise money to, to distract from her record to talk about... This, this is... War well, we're talking Warner Brothers here. All right, but you understand so, how it's, it's kind of tacky and, and bad taste. She's uh, not, like, here oh. to work for the man, even though, like, I will say, like, I'm always, like, I love doing voiceover work. I love, like, you know, I'd love to work for Warner Brothers in some capacity. But at this point, for this, you know... Recording. I, I, let me stop you right there. What we want you to do is uh, include into your set list some Looney Tunes so no, that Daffy, don't. Duffy <laughs> could be a little more comfortable with the environment, something he's more used to, you know? I do like you know, that. Some Looney Tunes, some Merry Melodies. Uh, you know, I think it's a bad you, idea. You and the band can kind of whip it. up some Looney Tunes and some Merry Melodies. I don't think you should have to And do it. also, uh, you know, I know what you're thinking. Uh, okay, he's been in the business a long time. How are the millennials going to uh, respond to that? Well, first of all, he is a professional. I can vouch for that, and you can trust me on that. And second, Warner Brothers is prepared to do a complete, edgy reboot of all their characters. So uh, we're now going to be doing a. Uh, uh, now we're going to we're going to have him vaping now. Uh, Duffy Duck's going to be vaping at all the shows. He'll be vaping all the time. Jenny, this is just and, a bit. Uh, it's a sketch. We'll also not have, uh, <laughs> and we're also going to have. Uh, Why don't you just uh, pull the him be on all the millennial websites such as LinkedIn and other sites like Ooh. LinkedIn. And speaking of which, 
you know, that reminds me, I, we, we need to get you on LinkedIn. So we're going to go do that, and then we'll be back with some more updates, all right? We'll get you on LinkedIn. We're going to get Duffy on uh, I'd LinkedIn. I'd love to join LinkedIn, too. And, uh, right? No. Congratulations on the new record. It's not working. Thanks. And... Wow. And now it's time to see how our winning callers caricature came out. Uh, wait, I want to do. <gasps> it's so good. Do we have a picture Sarah. of Sarah? This is beautiful, and I believe Sarah has sent us an actual photo. Do we have one? It's coming later, so. She's in the beach. She's we're gonna. Beach. Oh my God! Beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank Her you. face <laughs> is so beautifully symmetrical. I try. Sorry. Um, I try. <laughs> <laughs> um, well. I think that we're going to get a photo next to the drawing later on. But thank you so much, Zena. You yeah. and we're going to and also just so everyone knows, we're going to take a break. We Setting alarm. Star. You want to do that again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Debbie Estrada. I became homeless by drug abuse. I experienced homelessness for mm, nine years. The Downtown Women's Center has helped providing therapy, housing, um, anything that I needed help in. There you go. I got my help. Alex from the Women's Center, um, he helped me out so much, so much. He knew I didn't have a car and then it'd be hard to get on the bus and look around. So he helped me out. He, he found this place for me. When I first got house, I couldn't believe it. I felt like passing out. <laughs> like, you know, it's like our home. No one could tell us how long we could be here, when to get up, when to eat, or it, nothing. It, was, it just was wonderful. Thank God to the Women's Center, you know, to their programs that my home was furnished, you know. So I really thank them for that. Now I'm doing a lot better. I just um, go to NA meetings. I'm in a beautiful home with my daughter and my grandson. Emotionally, it's like, I'm at peace with myself. I feel great. And now, ladies and gentlemen, King Tough.
What a great job. And would you like to sit on the couch with us, King Tub? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Come on down. Thanks, Jerry. Beautiful. Well, well, unbelievable. That was amazing. Thank you. And you've met Jerry. We we spent Christmas together. Jerry's my hero. <clears throat> at my he house. He read my palm. I read his palm. <laughs> oh, what? How is that looking? Pretty good. <laughs> I love I mean, Jerry. Good. It's got a good thing going on. Well, we're so excited to welcome our next guest: comedian, actress, and gift excite gifted psychic, Kate Berlant. <laughs> Oh, 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 Kate is oh, a good friend oh. of mine. Hi, I'm so Hi. honored. Hi. Hi, Hi, here. I love Cal. that crazy flute you had out there. Oh, thank you. I've never seen a flute <laughs> so sonorous. Yeah. It's not the first time I heard that. Yeah. <sighs> love that. Okay, okay, there's kids watching. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Hi. How is, you know, how is it? Really how good. How are the, and, yeah, um, hard. Been hard. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I get but, that. You know, but at the same time, you keep on reaching new levels all the time. Mm. Is and isn't that? Yeah. <laughs> right, Jenny. Yeah. Oh my God. Ah. Right. I'd be, here, I'd be here all night. If I were to go uh, it's that, honestly, so. I go. If I had a dime for every time, I yeah. go. Ooh. Yeah. A bunch of dimes. No, yeah. A couple of dimes. Yeah. <laughs> um. So we'd love to. Yeah, I would love if I'm open to. Um, I do. I am. I'm psychic. I know. People I knew that about no, no, you. No, no, yes. No, 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 you deserve it. No, no, no. I don't do it for that. You know, I do it for something else. But um, yeah. But I pick up on certain frequencies sometimes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Like, have you, for example, mm -hmm. did you mention Brazil today, Just even in passing? Or did anyone here mention Brazil today? Yesterday counts, like we can, you know. The week, this week. I'm, I might have. And by the way, like don't lie, because I'll also be like, he's lying, you know. It's more just like, <laughs> it's honest, yeah, there's no right or wrong answers. Uh, it's totally okay if it's not, like I'm fine with that as well. Is it, yeah. It's France, but yeah. Was did you France? mention France? Yeah, did you mention France? Today I did. It was France. Oh. Oh my <laughs> God. Because of the map stuff, sometimes Brazil, it's like, or France, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. If you're looking at a map, at that point, the countries come closer together. Love it. Wow. Anyway, I can do other stuff too, but. Oh, we've got a call coming in. Oh my Maybe, God. Maybe, yeah. Um, hello? Can anyone hear me? Oh my first? Jenny? Hello? Hi. Hi. Hey, Hi. you're all you me? Is it loud and clear? We hear you loud and clear, sweetheart. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's fun. Um, so, I want to say, like, Jenny, you're one of my favorite songwriters ever. You're the best. Like, I think I've seen you, like, five or six times. Um, also, hello? Yes, we're here. Oh, so sorry, sorry. Um, Pink Tough, I just saw you like uh, a couple months ago. My friend is like a huge fan. Your your show was amazing. It, like completely converted me into a fan. You are such a rock star, man. Oh my god. Um, what about my but, work? But anyway, the, the main reason I call him. Kate and I also perform I'm sorry? live. I tour as well. I don't know if you've caught my work. I'm very well known in small I'm circles. Sorry. I, I haven't yet. That's fine, CaperLine.com. I mean, Vanessa, I'm, I'm very familiar with your work. Um, you're one of my favorite ethanol cast members. Oh, my memory. God. But you didn't anyway, know that. Wow. It's true. I'm so serious. I swear to God, I'm not trying to flatter anybody. Well, you didn't flatter me, so I'm fine. Well, you're very nice now. I'm an aspiring songwriter. Oh, thanks. Um, I'm an aspiring songwriter, and so what asked you was like, how do you, how do you, like, What's like good advice for this writer's comment? When do you know what song is done? When do you know that these works like you know that would would be such a help? Or or can you have like do too? Oh my god, like you have to set a song with that song songwriter. 
Well, as they ponder their answers, I think Kate is going to do a reading of yours. Oh my and god, I've actually never taken a, I've never done a, a, a call song, reading. A call? Did we already hear the caller's name? What was your Did, name no, again? Don't, 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 <laughs> have we heard the name? Oh wait, if you, don't say oh, it if hello? we haven't. Don't say, don't say your name. Is it Daniel? Okay, I won't. Okay, I but won't. is it Daniel? No, it's not. Good. No, Jason. Randall. <laughs> okay, oh, there's only one comedian, okay? <laughs> um, is it uh, Jason? I uh -oh. wish. Jason Schwartzman? No, it's not. I was thinking, truly. Very good. But I, I'm probably <laughs> sensing that. That's where I'm getting at. It's a crosswire or whatever. Um, are, are you one of three? <laughs> Do you have three? Are you the third sibling? <laughs> Uh, I'm the baby. I'm of three? <laughs> of three? Of one three? Of doesn't sound like a baby. <laughs> of three siblings? Are you one of three siblings? Um, yes, actually, yes. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, yeah. Hey, stuff like that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And you're the youngest, as you've solidified. Do you have a Susan? Good call. Good call. <laughs> Crapping over. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's kind of <laughs> huge since I don't know you. But, um, do you have a parent? Or an old, an elder in your life named Susan. No, unfortunately. But in the emotion, kind of no, unfortunately. I feel like it's kind of a loaded. Like, yes. Like, no, 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 There's no. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, oh. What about like a elder? Perhaps I'm seeing like a Tom, or some patriarchal figure. Yeah. Who's that? Yes, my great uncle, my great old mom. Yeah, mom. Yeah. Mom. yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, I want to be clear. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, that was clear as day. Um, do you have any, were you recently, I'm seeing you near water, were you recently near Great Lake? The ocean counts also. Hmm. Oh, the ocean counts. Okay. I was just in LA like two weeks ago. <gasps> okay, awesome. okay. That's the end ocean, so okay. double boat. Right, double boat. Yeah. I'm not sure yet. Lost you there at the end. But um, okay, great. And what about, are you are you an April birthday? <gasps> oh, no. Close, but also starts with an A, August. August. Oh, you're a sweetheart. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm not cheap like that. I'm not going to take that. Obviously, it wasn't, it wasn't a clean read, and that's fine. Sometimes the, you know, becomes slightly distorted. But, um. I will just say this. Do you have um, do you have a like a do you have a dog? No, I love dogs. Don't dog. do um, it. Don't do it. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. It's too much work. And I, I think um, you know, next thing you know, it's your whole life. So I think maybe for you, hold off, but I but eventually take the plunge if you feel um, like you're ready to take that step. Great. Well, it was a huge amazing. read. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, that was an amazing read. And, I, and oh. I, don't, I don't know that that was the advice that you were asking for, but yeah. that was the advice <laughs> that was asking to be brought that's to quite, you. That's quite all right, Jenny. Um, it's maybe and, the advice I needed. Yeah, exactly. Great. Well, thank you so much for calling in. Yeah. And um, get wow. a dog in your own time I'm when you're ready. Great. Finish, finish those One songs. Finish, yeah. finish the songs. So, so again, the Uncle Tom, the three siblings. Amazing. He was near water recently. So yeah. So um, insane. Yeah. Thank Just, you. Wow. Well, everyone's crying. So that's why okay. I'm well, sunglasses. okay. So uh, thank you so much, you guys, for being here. And I'm going to probably have a private session with you as soon as I can. Oh my God. Because right. I want to hear what's going on I'm with my not future. Cheap, but I'm worth it. And yes. And now. Next up is an in next up an, <laughs> an intimate intimate oh, conversation about the musical process with two experts. And I guess I will be here as well. Oh, that was a burn to me that it <laughs> You know live TV. Good. Yeah. Okay. Here's Beck. I just realized I've been mic'd for the last half an hour, so everything oh, I've said oh. has been recorded. Uh oh. Hey, Beck. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Good to see Great you. Good to see you. Good to be here. Thanks for coming. I'm in the. I feel like I'm in the brain. The 
brain of Jenny. Hello, sir, how are you? Good. Jerry, this is Beck. Yeah. Nice to meet you. It got warm in here, huh? Yeah, very warm. Because I was here earlier and it wasn't this warm. Pink is toasting. Something yeah, there's something. Peach emanates. Cold emanating. Heat. heat. Lovely. How's it going? Good, good. So are we gonna play some music? Yes, um, I think we're gonna go through some of the tracks. Yeah, um, I think we're gonna, we we're gonna break together. down a song. So this is a song that we did, and we're gonna hear isolated parts of it. But I, maybe we should talk about where the song started out. Yes. So, uh, which song are we, are we doing do si do do, -Si -Do. Yeah, well, do -Si do started on my phone. On your phone, you recorded on your phone. Yep. With this very mysterious kind of otherworldly song. Yep. That you texted to me. Yes, that's what I often do. I'll just right. make something on my phone and then text it to you. Uh, I I thought you would understand the song. I it, it was it was hard to recapture the mystery of that that original. I wish we could play that. We don't have that anymore. I might have it on my phone in the dressing room. I might have it somewhere. Which we can take a look right. and All find right. it. What was this mysterious uh, text? And I don't I don't remember what you said. I think it just said do si do. <laughs> Sorry and about it, that. Yeah, yeah. That was a little weird. And it was, and it, I was like, yes. I think I wrote back yes. <laughs> so uh, I think we're going to hear one element of the song, and then we'll talk about what this is. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is a little magic piano part. which was this beautiful, uh, wh where did this melody come from, this piano melody? This is something you came up with. I came up with a, a, a kind of inversion on that, and is that, right. are you playing that, or is Benmont playing that? I don't remember who was playing it. I think that So the might... track had Benmont Tench from the Heartbreakers, Tom Petty and Heartbreakers. Wow. It had Jim Keltner, famous drummer, friend of Jenny, and uh, Jason Faulkner, who's plays with me and many others and myself and you. Yep. So it was, uh, yeah. But I, f I feel like there's, uh, that particular piano part had like an Eric Satie hmm. something wistful thing. That was the thing, that, that piano melody is what, what got me when I first heard it. I think it started out as a little melody on my phone. Yeah. I feel like you could take that melody and license it or something. It could sell some perfume, perhaps. I would buy perfume with that. I would buy it, that yeah. Sound. Let's see what else we have. Mm. This is from the bridge. So that's on the bridge. Uh, nobody's heard this song, right? So no. we're just hearing fragments. We're doing this backwards. Yeah. So that, you know, there's parts of songs you would never hear. You would never know they're there. So that's something that's sort of embedded. And I don't think you can hear it in the final mix. No, and I haven't heard the stems, so I've never heard these you never things heard isolated. That? No. That so, sounds so cool. So what is that? That was, can we hear a little bit of that again? Yeah, just turn the fader up. Hello? Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh, there we go. That's a couple things. I took some uh, liberties with this one because we'd already recorded the song, and uh, so I kind of added that. I didn't tell you. Did I tell you? <laughs> no, but no. I'm finding out about it now. I wanted this Beach Boys kind of thing, and then I ended up with these sort of folk instruments, and it just went somewhere else. Is that a guitar yeah. and a piano, or like a? I think it's a harp. Uh, some sort of piano, some sort of bass, acoustic bass thing, and oh, that's the sound and there. some chimes and those kind of things. So cool. But it's you can't hear it, but you can feel it. Uh, so what else do we have? Here, let me put this fader up, see what happens. So that's the groove. That's Keltner and Jason on bass. Maybe we should talk about Keltner for a second here. 
Oh, yeah. Keltner is a legendary drummer. I don't know anything. He's, <laughs> I, w I wish we had a picture we could, we could show of Keltner. Maybe we can find a picture of Jim Keltner. Jim Keltner, I might be able to find one. I mean, he, it's worth, worth seeing. Uh, Jim played on Imagine. He played on the whole Imagine oh, wow. by John Lennon. Who else? Uh, Jim played with, uh, I believe, J.J. Kale and George J. J. Harrison. J.J. Kale, I yeah. mean, alone. My personal George, favorite. he played on uh, um, All Things Must Pass. All Things Must Pass. Yeah. Um, Jim has played on so many songs, so many hits, too, and you don't right. know it's Jim, but you feel it. And then you know it's Jim. So I typed in Jim Keltner in the maps by mistake. Oh, no. <laughs> Where's that place? So I, I don't know there. where that's going to take me, but. <laughs> that would be so cool if it took you right. Right to, to his drum kit. Um, and one of the best things about Jim Keltner is he has a very distinctive look, which, we, which you would describe as, I don't know. Mysterious. Um, he wears uh, the, uh, wristbands. And sunglasses. And sunglasses. All the time. Always. Always. Sort of like, that's a more current. Can we see that? Ah, oh, there he is. There's the man. I mean, that's not, here, I, there's probably a classic photo of him somewhere. He, he also played with Jim Gordon. I can't find it. And do you know the story about Jim Gordon? No. Um, he was playing double drums with Jim Gordon, who I think later maybe k killed his mom. Oh. Like had like a psychedelic And he's the out. one who wrote, wrote Layla, right? He wrote the coda? Yeah, maybe to that, Layla? that beautiful that... piano part of Layla is, is yeah. So, Keltner well, well Keltner is sort of the part of the heart of this record. Right? He is. Right, so he... let's hear a little of Keltner. Can we hear that one more time? I'll fade that up. I mean, it's very, it's a really rugged kind of playing. It's a real, uh, you know, there's a lot of, he's bringing a lot of elements. He's bringing a lot of soul, a lot of, anyway, let's hear the next, what do we have up next? Push these faders. Oh, oh. Oh, these are some background vocals. Celestial background vocals. I think uh, I think as you know, background vocals are my, one of my favorite parts of making a record. I think uh, this is evidence of the new age record that we will make at some point, right? <laughs> yeah, we started I mean, with that. I sort of want to go for spas, you know, destination resort hotels. Because I mean, here, let's hear the. I mean, it's sort of soothing, right? Can we hear that again? They have to cue it up. Yeah. What do you think our chances of breaking into that market? I mean, I honestly, when I hear that, I think like, I feel like I'm getting a massage. Are you? What if I was getting a massage or like a facial treatment or something, I feel like yeah. you could talk to angels, you could yeah. have angels speaking to you. Yeah, I mean, I, dancing in your hair. I also like it's important to make sure that spas, you know, have the right music. Right. You know, that's something that would be a really good. There's a market yeah. there for I sure. I think we're going to break into that. Yeah. A lavender scented yeah. CD. Oh my God. What I think if you could bring rhinestones to New Age. I think we really have something. There it is. I mean, yeah. like, you guys are watching, like, the moment that... Something is being born. Yeah. I mean, wow, to everybody here. Yeah. But also, this Hallelujah. is very cool, and I can't wait to hear Yeah, should we song. hear something else from this? Here, let's hear 
Okay, fade her up. I guess the faders aren't working well, anywhere. Well, there How about this? The we hmm. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I don't remember that. I don't either. <laughs> what else is in here? What are you... <laughs> Okay, I think we should turn that off. Yeah, that People aren't going to want to hear this song. <laughs> I still want to hear it. You want to hear that? Okay, yeah. let's hear right. one more. One more. Okay, one more. No? Okay, yeah. Let's cut that off. Yeah. <laughs> Did you put that in the song? Because I didn't put that in the song. I, I didn't put that in the I song. I don't remember putting that so, in there. Sort of like a haunted yeah. house song. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's a ghosty remix. It's a barbershop quartet, mm. yeah. Well, on, yeah. Not no no uh, insult to them, you know they're very good. But oh, the barbershop quartet, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we appreciate them. Yeah. Ghosty, ghosty. It's a little ghost-like, yeah. Um, should we hear the song, the actual song? Or do you want to talk about the song a little, a little bit? I, I know you have should, other people. Let's hear, I, think I think we, we should hear, hear it. it. You yeah. have, Shall we? You have. Shall we have a listen to Do Si Do? Add up the stereo. There it is.
Okay, okay, well that was very cool. I'm back. Um, oh, that was very cool, you guys. Um, I think we're getting ready for a very, um, for a very fun segment, but also this was a very fun and informative segment. And if I knew more about music, I would have like come in with like little, um, you know. Musicologists. <laughs> yeah, musicologists, um, kind of. Um, analyses. Analyses, yeah. but um, you know, now that I've talked to you guys, I feel pretty equipped to go into the world and say like, you know, I've, I know it, all the music things. You've seen behind the curtain. Yes, yeah. exactly. You know what a stem is. A stem. What is a stem? Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, okay, now our next act is something we're all very, very excited about. We all enjoy drum circles, either as a participant or just a listener. We all enjoy them, that's a fact. The thing that makes drum circles so sick is their shape. <laughs> <laughs> Make it with the finger. So why not try the same thing with the circle of bass players? Take it away, guys. Slow and steady.
look, that was amazing. And I think we know that. We'd now like to welcome Mac and Jim to the couch. That was a pretty sweet I ending. I give you that. Yep. All my bow is falling off. I bet they do oh, it. Hi. These guys look like they can hack. I think. Who here hacks? Because technically, here, I'll let you guys. Hey. Hey. Hello. Here, you. We'll rotate. Oh, hi. Hello. Hey, man. That was excellent. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of fun. Thanks yeah. for coming. Yeah. Hi. Nice to see you. Hey, Max. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Nice to see you. Thanks hey, for coming. You? Hi. Hi, nice to see you. Yeah. Just sit down. Oh, well, that, yeah. that sounded great. <coughs> yeah. Wow. What, mm. Nice. Wow. What an ending on that uh, circle. Oh. Woo. It was powerful. Yeah. What an amazing jam. Listen. <laughs> now, do you guys know, <laughs> now? Now, do you guys know each other? And do you all know? Do you know each other? Yeah, really well. Yeah, long yeah. time. Really well. Long time. Yeah, we met in Ireland. Yeah. Right. Dublin. Yeah. 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 That's right. Dublin. You guys pub. met in Dublin. Yeah, at the yep. pub yes. there. Yeah. Home of, you know. You two. You two. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Uh, one kind of beer. Guinness. <laughs> Guinness. Guinness. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And the Irish. Four leaf clover. Yeah. Four leaf clover. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> now, I don't. I don't know why I want to ask you this, but. <laughs> Do you think you could beat Jeff Goldblum at a jigsaw puzzle? Just, it's a yes or no. Is that a con contest or? I, you know, I don't think we're gonna Can have we beat you beat somebody it. at jigsaw? I don't play games. Okay. Oh, wow. I don't have time for games. I love that. I'm with uh, you. Yeah. I don't really, I don't really okay. play games either. Yeah, no time for games. Well, Do you I, have time for jigsaw? No. No, okay. Well, that takes a lot of time. Some would say it's a game, some would say it's and we've got a another practice. caller. <laughs> Surprises. Hello? Hello? Hi, Hello? What's, what's your name? Uh, this is Mandy. I'm in Indianapolis, calling from a ways away. Oh my gosh. Have you ever called? Oh, this <laughs> is a question for you guys. <laughs> well, it's so great to talk to you. And, <laughs> and Jenny, say hi to Mandy. Hey, Mandy. How are you doing? Unbelievable now. Huge fan, obviously. Nice to meet you. What'd nice. you think of the base circle? <laughs> it, was, uh, it was amazing. Uh, what's awesome. been your favorite part of the show so far? And your favorite part of the base circle? <laughs> uh, well, first of all, your outfits are amazing. And um, that hair, killing it. Um, I love all the new music so far. I mean, Mr. Jeff Goldblum. Give it up for him. Right? <laughs> Jeff. And Miss Vanessa Bayer as well, right? Or whatever. <laughs> and oh. what else? Um, oh, thank you, you guys. And what else are the. And how are. No. <laughs> and what's your favorite Jenny Lewis? song of all time? Oh, man. That, that's really, really hard. Um, I really like Head Underwater as far as more recent stuff goes, but I've loved her since Rilo Kali, uh, Rabbit Fur Coat. I'm pretty sure I've worn out three times uh, the CD. <laughs> um, Thanks, Mandy. And, and finally, what are you excited about doing this week? I'm not sure why. This week, <laughs> um, this week, I'm spending a lot of time with my my little two year old man, uh, hoping the snow clears up here so that we can uh, get some time outside. Nothing major. Oh yeah, it's very it's very cold there. I bet. <laughs> it's really yeah. hot yeah. in here though. Yeah, it's so hot in here. Do you? Do you? I, it's wild. Woo. With okay. Basically, awesome right up. Oh, well. <laughs> what happened? Do, what it, are what you was, okay, Mandy? <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. Okay, good. Mandy, is there anything else that you want to say to Jenny or to any of our amazing bassists or to Beck, which I, we probably played bass too? 
<laughs> I, I was just thinking about the bass circle. No, just I mean, I just... About. There were no six-string basses, <laughs> which I took umbrage with. There was an eight-string, though. There, there was? was? Eight, oh. Yeah. There was one eight-string. I spoke too Believe soon. It. But eight? nobody was playing the bass up eight. here. Right. A lot. I, I a want lot some strings. chin bass. Like, That's if important. you're going to have a circle, like, mm. that was important. complete the circle. But anyway, sorry. I apologize. Yeah. Right. Well, I, Mandy, I like to apologize. I understand. I'm just, you. you know. Thank you for calling it. in. Constructive. And, um, yeah. and thank you for being a part of this and for donating. We ap appreciate it. And on the count of three, we'll say bye, Mandy. One, two, three. Bye, bye Mandy. And next up, we've got an unforgettable performance by Nikki Lane. Woo. This is And here, and here, and it's going to be great. Woo! I wear a ponytail like a waterfall. Loudspeaker calls a landslide. I got a room key and a gun. Eat. A good buzz, feeling all right. Pitch a tin. Pop a top, forget about what you ain't got. Stamp the lights, sip till night. Stamp your feet, turn out the lights. If you wanna go where they chain up the sun, see Fernando, see Fernando. He'll buy a bottle of suds for you and everyone. See Fernando, see Fernando. If you're high, strung, or stressed out, down in the dumps, been turned out, stabilized, motorized, insecure or ableized, curious or furious, picked apart like Prometheus, penalized, legalized, stamp your feet, dry out your eyes. If you wanna go where they chain up the sun, see Fernando, see Fernando, he'll buy. Fernando, see Fernando, you've been Jezebel, back from hell, cooled off, feeling well, tired talking, talked out, ticked off, toughed up, too tired, backed up, haven't made your mind up, TBD or TB, tired of falling to your knees, if you wanna go where they chain up the sun, see Fernando. See Fernando, he'll buy a bottle of suds for you and everyone. See Fernando, see Fernando. And if you want to go where they chain up the sun, see Fernando, see Fernando, he'll buy a bottle of suds for you and everyone. See Fernando. See Fernando, see Fernando. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, please. Come join us. Nikki, have you met uh, Jerry Cohen? Oh, tonight was my first time. I'm trying to steal that suit. Well, oh you God. can borrow it. You'll just uh, have to ask. Do you want to swap suits later? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you Hi. for that, Nikki. This is so fun to watch. We've been all out there just watching you all night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How's the vibe so far? I think the vibe is, like, uh, who can be the most awkward. That's my favorite part of the show. <laughs> I, when I realized that, that I was going to be sitting here against the two of you, I realized I better be on my A game. I didn't know if that was, like, smoke more or less. So awkward. I a just, game. Yeah, A game. Awkward yes. game. So I'm ready. Um, smoke okay. more. Well, I put you on the spot now. That's no, great. I so love it. Not great. Well, Nikki, I, I know you through my brother Jonah, um, who introduced us. And also, why did you choose that song? Oh, um, well, <laughs> uh, when I was asked to sing tonight, I was picturing that she was going to have a big backing band for me, so I want to do her most punk rock song that I could think of. And then I realized I had to do it alone, and I thought it went okay. It sounded beautiful. I thought it You're sounded really great. You're really smart. I, I, I was listening to your lyrics, and then I realized I didn't know that many of them. I kind of do that mumble thing where I think I know all of them, and I didn't really know any of them, and they're really 
smart. They're hard to memorize. Nikki, well, you're smart too. I'm Sorry, a country that... singer. I tell a story. <laughs> like that way, if I get spaced out or two, you know, I don't mess up. I just remember that, like, oh yeah, this is where the story's going. Well, you changed a couple words that I actually think are what? better. What? Ooh. Seriously, there were like one or two. Uh, I don't know if I changed the words or lyrics.com or uh, whatever changed the words. That'll get you I every time. I memorize all those words. <laughs> That's always a bummer when you print out lyrics.com. TBD or TB. I didn't think they... that was it. Uh, yeah, TBD right. or TB. Okay, good. Tuberculosis reference. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. Smart. <laughs> oh, my God. Totally weird. Um, Jerry, what did you think? And refreshing, entertaining, and lively. Oh, thank you very much. <clears throat> Will you give us a little uh, musical theme for Nikki? Uh, what does she like? <clears throat> yeah. What do you think, Nikki? It's yours. Very good. I like it. It's yours. It's for you. Busy like my brain. Yes. So. She's a numbers gal. We're we're close friends, and Nikki's uh, real into numbers. Numbers. Well, speaking Tetris. of numbers. <laughs> oh. Tetris. We've been raising a lot of money, and we want to thank all of you for your donations. Uh, they're truly wonderful. They're coming in, and um, yeah. And we want to thank Nikki for being such a wonderful guest and doing a beautiful song, and also for being so smart. Thank you so much. Thank you to Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> and now, for a professional wrestling demonstration, please welcome St. Vincent. Oh, wait, that's not right. <laughs> David Arquette. Yeah! yeah. Come on, please. Hey, David. <laughs> song, song. Well, How are you, Jenny? Okay, nice Good to, to see, see you, David. It's great to see, see you, Jenny. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, my pleasure. There's a song called You Can't Kill David Arquette. I'm here to tell you a story Arquette. about a man created by God. That's no, it. a man created by Hollywood, not MacGyver. Not so listen, not Stallone, I'm just here to tell all you. Jenny, you're doing good here. You're doing good for this downtown women's shelter. Raising money, there's a lot of haters out there. But I want you to know. You're on the side of love, right? Always. Always. Don't forget it. All right, awesome. How's it going, guys? Okay. Sorry I made a bit of a mess here. No, no, beautiful. It cleans up easy. <laughs> You're not supposed to see this part. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm just here because, you know, 18 years ago, I won the WCW Heavyweight Championship belt here. Woo! Yeah. And people have hated me ever since, so I made a comeback to wrestling. And uh, that's why I'm here. Here, oh, thank you. <laughs> I mean, it's funny that I can actually make this even more awkward. <laughs> You're doing a that great, possible. great job. job. <laughs> great. So should we do a little wrestling demonstration for you guys? Yes, I heard, uh, I heard that Tim is going to be kind of your... Oh, really? Tim, huh? uh, hey, how's, how's, how hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Big hey, fan. Hey, I'm a big yeah. fan of yours. Thank you very much. What yeah. am I doing here? Should I? Uh, am I safe with this on, or? Uh, you're safe with that on. I mean, what do you want to learn exactly? I don't want to do. I don't want to learn any. I don't want to do any of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that makes about, it easy. Yeah, just the basics. So, listen, so the basic is a lockup. Okay. So you go in and you lock up like this. Okay. Right. Oh. Yeah. I put that hand in. Sweaty fucking yeah, down, that's right. Put it here. Put it here. No, right there. Right. Yeah. Right okay. here. Touch it. What? See? I'm, I'm amped. Yeah. I'm ready to fucking go, baby. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, Tim. Don't tell. Okay, so we lock shoot. in. It always shoots when it becomes a real fight. All right, we lock in, right? We lock like in. that other hand there. Yeah, right on the base. Yeah. There. Yeah. yeah, see him from here. Yeah. Ah! I'm ready to go like that now. Ah! Yeah. Okay. Ah! So you want to do Great. try that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we lock up. No, you gotta go in straight, gotta go in strong. Ah, yeah. Ah. 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 
It's all, it's all you're still, we're still in it. It's supposed to be ours. This is wrestling. Okay, okay. Real stuff. Let me show you a figure four leg. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's right. You go like this. Turn over. Here's, this is a figure four leg. Oh, my sunglasses. <laughs> Did I These are $200. I'll hold them. I'll hold them. I'll hold them. All right. Be free. Ah, 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 yeah. You're going to tap at some point. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Want to try that? Oh, no. I was made famous by Ric Flair. Whoa. The very nature cool. boy. I'm not going to be able to do that. Yeah, you can. Uh, slowly, All step right. by step. So, what you really do is you should pull their legs. You pull my legs. Ah! ah! And you grab it. No, oh, other leg. Okay. Other leg. <laughs> and wait, no, no, no. You were right. That's right. That's right. That's right. No, no, no. Oh. Gotta keep this one. You're not quite doing it, but it's all right. It looks good. Wow, I feel one, impressed. Two, three. Thank you. Oh, thanks, uh, Tim. That was really yeah. Awesome. Oh my God. You all right? Yeah. I got some ice. Do we give yeah. you the medal now? Oh, I do have a so I prize somewhere here. See, Jen, wanted to give this to you since. I got the belt and all. I didn't want you to feel left out. So oh. there you go, world's greatest superstar. Thanks, Nathan. All right. That's a lot of work. Steven, wow. Woo. That's a lot of energy. Yeah. I'm it's not easy. Good. Thank you. Yeah? What's up? What's next? <laughs> Woo. Um, What's next? <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know, it's, it's crazy. I don't want to break the fourth wall and say that I'm sometimes reading a teleprompter, but once in a while I am. Oh, here it is. The and thank you to the everyone font. who's. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, you. Oh, you read. Um, she reads. Oh, do you want to read? No, it, well, the font was small, and uh, yeah, I wear contacts, but they're not magic. <laughs> thank you to everyone who has donated so far. We've raised five thousand five hundred twenty-six dollars. Yay! Yay! For the downtown women's center. You can help us reach our new goal of $7,500 by going to JennyLewis.com slash news and making a donation. We're going to... Uh, <laughs> we are... Here's a video part two. Okay, it's two. Let's hear some more about My the Downtown Women's Center. Okay. Yeah. My name is Lorraine Moreland. So I, I came down here. Okay. The moment, actually, I stepped in this door, I felt safe. I saw women sitting down, half asleep. I said, oh, to myself, this is a place I can go to sleep, for real? And they fed me and gave me clean clothes, and I was able to clean my body and just feel good. They embraced us with tender, loving care. And they kind of like giving our dignity back. And they gave us so much love and understanding. And that's so important. If you could just get a mustard seed of something, it could help you. And I know what helped me.
Wow. And we're back. And now it's just, 
And now it's just me. And now it's just me. But get ready because now we have a, a, welcome our very special guest, Natasha Legero. Yes. Now, Natasha, are you? How? Wait, is there well, Jenny's. Else? Well, Jenny is. Um, Jenny's changing, so I'm taking her seat. So. She's not even in this part. No. But I'm here from Saturday Night Live. No, I know. I like you. You're funny. Um, you just had a baby. Does it have a cell phone yet? <laughs> I don't get it. Your husband is a comic, too. How do you feel about phone flirting? <laughs> Are these real questions? Do you believe the theory that we're all living in a simulation? Um, yes. Uh, would you like to take a phone call, Natasha? I guess. Is that what we're doing? I don't know. I asked so many people what was happening, and no one would tell me. And then someone just told me, oh, you have to run out there right now. And I don't really get it. Cool. Well, we. Is this for mu is sp supposed to be some music happening or something? Yeah, but it's like kind of like, because Jenny's changing. Is so that we the music? To, well, yeah, J yeah. Jerry plays music, too. But I'll take a call. OK, caller is, hello? Oh, we don't have one yet. Oh, look. Look who it is. I'm just going to sit in for a little bit, if that's OK. Hey, Brent. Hi. So you guys know each other? Yes. Sure. From the scene? We're comedians. From, from the entertainment business. Cool. I just moved to LA. What's your advice for me? Um, you can get frozen yogurt here in Los Angeles, right? Tacos, if you like tacos. Seems like you're doing pretty good doing this job. Do you like going to the spa? Yeah. She goes to the spa. Thanks, you guys. Well, how many phone numbers do you have memorized these days, and whose are they? I know a lot of phone numbers. I you know, do? I know, I mean. You I know, know my number? I know Moshe's number. Okay. It's five one zero. Don't say I'm it. I'm not going to say it, um, <laughs> but uh, I could say it if I wanted to. I have that kind of power, and uh, I know. Name somebody. Name anybody. I can. Name, I can do their phone number probably. I'll give you their area code. Chris Rock. <laughs> Chris Rock. That's definitely three one zero. You know, when I moved here, <laughs> I had to get a cell phone, and I got three one zero, so I sound, would sound rich. Oh really? Ooh. I was thinking more Torrance area, South Bay. Style. That's three one zero. It could be. Okay. Okay, well, we do have a call coming up, but the last time they told me that hello? I got burned. Oh, hello? <laughs> What's your name? Hi. Hi. This. Uh, my name is Colin. Colin, thanks for calling in. Um, Colin, thanks for calling. Uh, yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. Well, yeah. um, you, you uh, are... We're so happy that you called. Do you called. have a question, Colin? Do you have a comment? You. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I was actually uh, going to tell a story. Uh, a story? Uh, eight or nine months ago, uh, I uh, went to see one of Jenny's concerts. Uh, it was absolutely incredible. And uh, you know, I've been listening to a lot of her stuff since then. Both I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Kylie Who's and Jenny? And, you know, what can I say? It's been. Uh, Oh, that's who's here. Sorry. Okay. I can't tell this. Story. Sorry. Jenny's sick. And, uh, she's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought I thought that was Tim on the phone just now, actually. Yeah, um, but it's been uh, goodbye well since then. Have... Yeah. I but... thought you were Tim. We just have now. a slight of medical emergency. Jenny's not a lot of. Lot of uh, oh really? <laughs> yeah, a lot of pressure but... going on. So I'll sit in until they. There's. She just needs a little. Oh, oh Tim, you don't have to. What? But um, so. What? Oh, jeez. But, but you know, what were you saying? You were saying you went to her show? This guy sounds like you. You went to her show? What's the story? Yeah, I, I went to a concert like uh, eight or nine months ago. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so what? what? Not really a story. Did you buy it's merch? Just, it's a really incredible concert. Mm -hmm. This is the story? Wait a second. I think that's a beautiful story, and I want to, and we're going to relay it to Jenny. And 
Well, and wait, Tim, are, you, are you done with the story? Tim, you don't have... Just hold on. <laughs> are you done with the story? Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. Wait, so the story was you went to go see your concert? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What story is this? I think it's a great... Oh, yeah, a well, been, uh... Maybe a lot of cool stuff doesn't happen to him. Hey, Come on. Look, listen, I think it's really cool. So I think you should tell the, you should tell that story again. But it's not a story, it's a fact. Well, I'll tell it as a fact. <laughs> fact you know or story. What? It's I, not a I, fact I'm or gonna, fiction. I'm gonna relay it to Jenny. And I think if anyone you know if any you know the saying, if anyone is a bully to you, they're really a bully to themselves. Well, that seems like you're talking about me, but Yeah, I am. I'm just a little frustrated with this caller. <laughs> Thank you for calling in. Now, get a camera on this situation over there in the corner. <laughs> now, we appreciate your call, and if anyone was rude to you, again, they were just being rude to themselves. Do you have any other stories? What's that? Where's Jenny? Who? Jenny. Jenny? Um, okay, all right. Well, I, I hope Jenny gets better. So thanks for having me thank online. Thank you. Appreciate we it. will tell Jenny your story and. What story? Thank you. Well, Somebody thank tell you, me and the have story. a wonderful well, night, and thank you for donating. Can you retell the story, Natasha? The story was he went and saw Jenny, who's, I'm assuming, the other musician, yeah. <laughs> and he liked it. Uh huh. And I think that was the whole story. Oh, okay. Was That's there any other one. details? That's, I wouldn't well, call that the greatest story ever told. Was there a detail uh, I'm biblical, missing? Biblical in uh, nature. You know, I think we want to kind of, I mean, I know you're like the producer of the show, but I think we kind of want to like encourage people to call, call in. in. Well, I would encourage people to call in with stories, not facts. Well, I think not, he was. Not calendars, well, calendar days. He learned stuff He didn't facts. know he was going to have to tell a story, I think. You okay. know? He did say, I have a story yeah. for you. That's, yeah, he did I mean, say that. He wasn't just like, hey, I'm a fan. I saw her once. She was great. Now, you know. Well, I have some breaking news. I was playing a prank on everybody in this building, including you and the audience at home. Jenny Lewis is not ill and is not sick. She is not fainted. She is not in the bathroom. Well, our caller will be relieved. She, she, he will be. He'll, that's a story. Now he's got a story to tell. <laughs> now he's got a story to tell. Uh, she is about to begin a music video. <laughs> Right? Don't ask me. Let's Just go kidding. to part two of our live music video. Natasha, thanks for coming down. Thank you for having me. Was this an ex a re rewarding experience? I mean, I wish I wouldn't have hired a babysitter for this, but, <laughs> you know. Maybe you did learn something about that man going to her show. That's true. You got a story to tell now your Now you've got a story. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it for bedtime tomorrow night. Yeah. It's certainly a yawner. <laughs> All right. More music yes. from Jenny Lewis Please coming up after this pause. Now we're going to, yes, we're going to do part two of our live music video. Please enjoy a second trip down the rabbit hole. I'm not.
A little uh, walkie music, Jared? Yeah. Wow. We should bring Jeff uh, Goldman back out. Sure, why not? I think Jeff, he's... Jeff, are you bored? Jeff? Mm. Jeff? Yeah. Are you bored? Oh, no, no, no. Do you want to come and join us? If you like. I miss the dynamic. I miss you. <laughs> I miss the energy. Come out. Really? Don't you think? Okay. Yeah, and Jason, oh. maybe Jason. Come, Do we... camera ready. <sighs> Come on. What's going oh. on? What have I missed? Tell me everything. Jason, Beck, anyone? 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 Let's see how many guys we can get on the couch. Oh, come on. And women. No, Jason. just guys. <laughs> hey, man, you Scoot over a little bit. <laughs> I will, guys. come on. <laughs> Beck. Jeez, what a, what a, what a momentous affair. Oh, Natasha, yeah. do you want to come over? Jim, you want to come over? Natasha. Oh Great. my gosh. Natasha Leggero. Oh. Hi, honey. How oh, are hi. you? Hello. Here. Hello. Do I still have to be a bitch? <laughs> no, <laughs> you have to be your natural self. Okay. Natasha. This is nice. Hi, Natasha. Hi. 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 Nice to see you, Natasha. Great. I think the last time I saw you, we should see someone's roof party, wasn't it? Yes, yes. So nice to see you. I think we should ask Jenny how she's doing. Yes, and then I and then I have to You have some news. Some news. But let's ask Jenny, how are you doing? I'm feeling pretty good. You conceived of this. Is it going the way you hoped it would be going? Or are you disappointed in... How it's going? I'm not disappointed. It's not exactly how I imagined it. Uh, <laughs> well, that's not good. Well, our next no, special guest is... is <laughs> Are you upset about it? I know. I, see, I love it. But that's a little like life. It's well, yeah. Not to be... Well, you, ima you play things right. out, and then Maybe the Maybe it's better than right. you imagine. We're playing yes. with the cards we're dealt. Yes. It'll be better than you imagine when you remember it. Mm -hmm. well, it is. I'm remembering it right now. Are you regretting it right now? No. Not Good. at all. It's kind Are of you like a dream. dream. Are you it? I am. Because <laughs> I was uh, physically injured by David Arquette. I was oh. worried My about that. My psychic told me what happened. <laughs> Caper land. Really? And our next no. special guest is joining Jenny to play a game of chance. Ladies and gentlemen, St. Vincent. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Down, but if you want to Oh, where do I go? Oh, we don't know. Come on over here. <laughs> okay, I'm glad well, to see you. Maybe well, you guys could sort of we should oh, stand. Hi, Carla. Thanks for coming. You, you, you look oh, beautiful. You're right. Right. Yeah, too. Hi. So, I'm going to sit here. There you are. We've got okay. you all set up here. Thanks, bud. Thank you. I love to see this red get up in the pink world. I'm so sorry. No, it's I so didn't good. I anything this color. <laughs> it's perfect. Well, they tell you not to wear red and pink when you're a kid, and I don't know if they told you that. They're like, these two Ready colors. Red are, yeah. But they're great together. It's like Valentine's Day. It is. <laughs> um, now, do you use music, would you say, to work through emotions? Mm-hmm. I would say that exactly. And... <laughs> 
And also, who is, oh. And also, <laughs> I'd like to introduce the guitar riff challenge. So there's a deck of cards. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. And Jenny is going to select a card at random. Mm. And we're going to ask you to riff off of that card. Yeah. Here it goes. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah. All right. Ooh, Ooh. flirty. Okay. <laughs> yes. That sounded very flirty to me. F-A-F, -F, flirty as fuck. Yes. Okay, here we got another one here. Um, let's see. Oh. Oh, bored. Uh-oh, Eon. I'm so bored. That made me bored. It was really boring. Really boring. Okay, the next one. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, that's great. <gasps> Joyful. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Oh, oh my honey. God, honey. <laughs> it's like. Yeah, because I feel like, woo! <laughs> that's, that's a form of joy. <laughs> Okay, the next one Angel is... Joy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, ah. Oh. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh. What is this one? I can't... Oh, oh sorry, scared. Vanessa. Scared. Ooh. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah, I yeah. will say every time that's I would um, hear that, hear Andrew right, Sandman, I would. That is scary. I would have to that's turn it. Doing, we, that's copyright infringement. Oh. <laughs> I just made it up on the spot. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're just gonna move on to. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Dis disgusted. Oh, okay. Um, like a. Uh. <laughs> oh, I know, like a, mm -hmm. like a, like a, like a. You <laughs> yes. Because it's like, it's like I don't want to go to school, and I hate, you know, I love drugs, and I hate school. And it's the '90s. <laughs> okay, here we got another one. How many more do we have here? All right. Oh, hungry. hungry. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, hungry? That's hard. Yeah. Yeah, that's a hard one. Do you want to skip? Yeah. Okay. Skip. Because skip. 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 it's not really an emotion. Skip. It's, it's more of a. To be fair, physical. it's not an emotion. In love. <laughs> yeah. No. There she is. No. Can't happen. No day tripper, no other riffs I can't mm -hmm. think of right now. We'll do another one then. Ooh, I love this one. Silly. Silly. Um, That's hard. Like. <laughs> that was perfect. That was very silly. Okay, that was very, oh. Ooh, um, paranoid. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> We have time for a couple more. All right. Sounds like it. No one's. Oh. Oh. Psychosis. Do people understand what emotions are? <laughs> um. <laughs> it's not really 
definitely an emotion, but we can. Yeah. We're gonna roll with you it. You can skip any that aren't emotions, but it's up to you. You want to skip this? We might get in trouble for that. Even. Oh, let's yeah, just leave let's that. Yeah, skip it. All right, and we've got Jerry there if you want to pass over. Oh, I can pass to Jerry. Yeah, if you feel like passing, Jerry will tackle. Oh. Or Jerry's ready. Oh, Jerry, Jerry, take this from me, please. Angry. <laughs> There. All right, we have two more. Okay. Oh, mm. depressed and in the jumps. I wonder if oh. a musician can do depressed. <laughs> um. <laughs> That was great. I really need, I feel like I need a pick me up. Yeah, I feel glum after that mm -hmm. one. Um, we have one last one. <gasps> Gold Bloom! <laughs> okay, uh, like... That's it. That's for you, Jeff. That's for Jeff. Well, that was great. That was fun. That <laughs> Thank was... you. Very amazing, and now it sounds like we're gonna take, no? Okay, now we have another amazing guest. You guys like, you guys still like music, right? Right <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Danielle Heim! Talk about the modern age. All of our friends were gathered there with their pets just talking shit about how we're all so upset about the disappearing ground. As we watch it melt, I'm very nervous. It's all the good that won't come out of us. And how eventually our hands will just turn to dust If we keep shaking them Standing here on this frozen lake I do this thing where I think I'm real sick but I won't go to the doctor to find out about it Cause they make you stay real still in a real small space As they chart up your insides and put them on display They see all of it, all of it, all of it, it's all the good That won't come out of me and all the stupid lies Such a big mistake ah! Lying here in your warming place hey! Oh, you're almost home I've been waiting Let's talk about all our friends who lost the war 
to be written about it. It's all the good. to come on out just to try to we tried to get everybody out here and then we got kicked out for St. Vincent <laughs> which was cool hey David hey, hey are, yeah. we on, are we on Great okay terms I mean, it's all it's all for fun all for fun and uh, come on in come on in come on in here don't be scared of a man in underwear if anyone wants a lot of yes 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 a couple of big boss big boys here. here. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey. And maybe a second row, or if that's demeaning. <laughs> Did everybody have? Oh, thank you. Excuse me, Jerry. <laughs> Did everybody have fun tonight at the mm. on the show? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, everybody coming. Oh, and the the uh, I forgot about the. The uh, quartet and is um, Simone. Yeah. Is Simone here? Simone is uh, our magician. Is Tiki here? Where's Simone? She leave? She left. She was sicker. Some some of you should have taken her advice and gotten out of here. Um, does anybody have any memories of tonight they want to share? Any particular? The back back. What was your favorite part of the night? I'm putting you on the spot. The bass circle. Uh, well, if I go to the, the wrestling, yeah. but also the bass circle, of course, was, was sort of <laughs> at, at Apex. Yeah. Um, That'll be in the, mm -hmm. the best But mm -hmm. Vanessa, I thought. And Vanessa did yeah. such a good job. Shadow band. The shadow band. Shadow band. And Jerry. these gentlemen. Jerry Cohen, Jerry. let's give a big round of applause to Jerry. You sat down. What's it? At some point, you sat down. Yeah. Stood back up. <laughs> Tired. <clears throat> but, but you're okay, right? Oh, I'm fine. Good. I lasted this long. I may as well last a little bit longer. I hear you. <laughs> well, the one thing you, we haven't heard uh, is is we've had wonderful live uh, music here from your friends playing your yeah. songs. Thank you. But we have not heard you perform. Which, I mean, we've heard the music, but we would love to hear a song from you if you're up for it. Well, I'd love to. <laughs> Thank you for, all, for, every, uh, for coming down, everyone. I hope you had a good time. Thank you. And we're all safe. Uh, no thanks. Right? <laughs> we're all well, safe. It's close. It's a close call. I feel so nice. Are you going to do it right here? I'm going to do it right here. What do you Who's think? This is special, yes. Shall, shall I? Yeah. And if you guys want to join me, I'm okay without a pick on the chorus. It's really easy. Feel free to sing along. <clears throat> I went to a cobbler to fix a hole in my shoe. He took one look in my face and said, I can fix that hole in you. I beg your pardon, I'm not looking for a cure. I've seen enough of my friends in the depths of the God-sick blues. And you know that I'm a liar. You know that I'm Nobody helps a Cause I've been down 
it on my tongue Tripped upon the land till enough was enough I was a little bit lighter An adventure on my sleeve I was a little drunk and looking for company So I found With the softest of hands We were unlucky in love But I'd do it all again We built ourselves a fire We built ourselves a fire But you know Exactly where I was There was no snake or cure For unlucky To be lonely is a habit Like smoking or taking drugs And I quit them both But man was it Just makes me tired. Let's build ourselves a fire. Let's build ourselves a fire. Downtown Women's Center. Thank you, everybody.